Boom! Hey, welcome back to the Match of All Grid. My name is Andre. Thanks so much for watching. Or for tuning in. Uh, happy Thursday. It is February the 1st. I gotta pay my rent today. That's good to remember. Uh, what's up? How's it going? I think we're live. Yeah, we're live. Cool. Looks like we're going good. We're going good on both the channels. Uh, let's give a second pull up chat and then we'll, we're off to the races. Give me one second. We are both streaming live on YouTube and Twitch. We've been doing this for almost a month now. It's been working pretty good. I just need to pop this out. How do we do that? All right, let's go. So I'm pretty sure I need a graphic that goes on at the beginning while I sort stuff out. So you don't always have this clumsy beginning, which makes for a pretty bad YouTube video. Okay, I think we're there. What's up? We good? We cool? We cool? Yeah, we're good. Oh, man. All right, let's do this. Uh, welcome. My name is Andre. How's it going? Uh, we have a lot of stuff that we want to do tonight. I've always found out, well, I've not found out, but I've been realizing uh, for the last couple of while while we're streaming, we never do as much as we want to. So we're going to start quicker and we're going to play faster and we're not going to describe any of our decisions. We're just going to go at it. I'm not entirely serious. Uh, we're starting with Turbo Bird. We play the deck list of the week. Uh, this week it is Simon Moon, who uh, is a, uh, from, I believe, New York, who is a very, very good Netrunner player, second at nationals last year yo what's up red how's it going um and this is a no nonsense uh like just competitive max deck uh the way you'll see it and the competitive anarch shell is generally the same cards over and over again the really really good one what's up vincent what up how you doing man uh and you generally see the same like i was talking about this with uh some of the dudes i play uh at work with yo what's up mark andre how's it going jander what's up althorion how you doing uh thanks for dropping by uh, so, the thing about Anarch, um, they have a lot of really good cards, and there's a lot of neutral cards, and most competitive Anarch decks are the same, like, base 30 cards, and you see it here, Max is a bit different, because she requires some recursion, and she requires other stuff like that, but you generally have your liberated accounts, your uh, daily casts, uh, a lot of decks run Earthrise Hotel, Anarch decks, Max doesn't really have a problem with draw, you got your Dirty Laundries, your Hacktivists, you almost always have three I've had worse, three Inject, now again, Max is a bit different, yo, what's up, Sean, um... And you got the career fairs, maybe a mad dash. Rebirth is like, some people argue whether or not that's good in max. Sometimes you want to draw and then you uh, always play your, your heap breakers. Two of each is generally what people have been doing. Uh, it's easier for max because she can find them faster. We have a s s really, really special Amakua. And a data sucker actually goes pretty far with MK Ultra. Uh, if you haven't played MK Ultra recently, you might notice four strength sentries kind of suck because you're spending six. Um, Jared Ross, what's up? Red, is it the data pack legal yet? It came out as of today. Uh, we have this today. Oh, I can explore the White Nile. That means that it is legal for formal and, uh, casual events, uh, as of today. And it's actually, like, a really exciting pack. It's really exciting for Canada. We got Sovereign Sight last week, and then we got this week. We actually got, uh, we got Explore the White Nile today. So we're back on track. Canada is back up, caught up with the rest of the world, which is really cool. Yo, Maui, what's up, man? Uh, so that's really exciting. This is actually like a really good pack and if you watch the YouTube channel You probably know that there hasn't been much of a YouTube channel We generally do like unboxings and talk about the cards and we're gonna be doing that again for sure We might skip over a bit of the revised core set, which is a bit of an issue uh, I wish that we would do go back and do that But like the last two data packs specifically down the White Nile the amount of good cards in down the White Nile is really 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 cool um, Like the cards that are coming out in these last cycles have been really interesting Cabin is a wood deck tonight. Unlikely. We got some weird shit to do tonight, Red. Uh, I'm actually not sure how to play her entirely, but Shaper is good, huh? Yo, what's up, Mad Dog? <laughs> that beard's really coming in. Thank you. It's been a month so far. Uh, Vincent in chat, he was playing this weekend. We had a store championship, and he was playing uh, Industrial Genomics. Uh, every time a good card gets printed for industrial genomics, I get a bit nervous because I hate playing against that ID. And there's a cool 5-3 agenda that's actually like really strong with industrial genomics. It can, it, while it's not intrinsically defensive on its own, it reads draw neural EMP, draw neural EMP, trash 5 cards, and it's pretty great. 
Six data pack also red, yeah, it does look insane. Uh, I don't want to spoil things for you, but there have been spoilers for the six data pack. We're not going to talk about it directly because I know some people don't like spoilers. It was spoiled early. I think someone got it shipped out on accident, uh, but things look good. IG literally the best deck. That's what Vincent was thinking, uh, and that really, really worries me um, as a uh, very simple net damage fearing person. So let's jump into this Simon's Moon deck. There's a nice write up here. Uh, don't play any consoles. The Maw War is always online. <laughs> IG literally the best thing in the universe ever. Oh, it's rough. Um, and if you haven't noticed, competitive Anarch decks for the last little while have been running two or three stim hacks. I think this is really cool. This card lets you contest. It's, there's like a lot of click compression with this card and brain damage generally doesn't matter in most matchups. But the idea that you can make a run and trash assets against CTM, like Simon talked in the, Mr. Moon, uh, talked about in the, the write-up is like a really big deal. Emergency shutdown. What's up, man? Johnny? Pheromones Gabe. I think that'll happen at some point. I have your list open. Uh, I gotta pull it. Uh, because it's really cool. We were talking online, trying to build a silhouette deck, and we kind of got sidetracked, and Pheromones Gabe came in. So excited with these packs. Really good cards came in for Pheromones Gabe. Uh, Credit Kiting is actually, like, a really interesting card, and, uh, we've been kind of, like, uh, what's it called? Like, uh, what do you call it when you try and make decks, but with your head? Theory crafting, uh, some interesting decks. So, we're gonna start where we normally start, which is, let's just get in some good old Max games. Uh, gotta log in. How's everyone else doing, by the way? Thanks for dropping by. Bacterial programming is in this pack. Yeah, Sean, it is. Uh, yeah, theory crafting, there it is. There's a delay on chat. Connection to the server lost, attempting to reconnect. That's really good. That's a good sign. Uh, and let's go ahead and blow this out. I do not know how to do this. I found it. Dual streaming on both Twitch and YouTube. You bet, Maui. I think that's just how the future is. Uh, we had actually a pretty good presence on YouTube yesterday in terms of the YouTube chat. Right now, it's it's kind of uh, ghost town. That's okay. Uh, I think Twitch generally has a good community, but the fact that the stream goes straight up onto YouTube after as like a VOD, a lot of people actually watch it, which is really cool. As much as they miss out the interaction and stuff like that. Uh, it looks like there's zero games going on in the top right corner, so I'm a bit worried uh, whether or not JNet went down or whether I went down. It looks like we're still good. Stream quality seems fine. So, 28 games back on track. And the font is off. This is not the right font. So, something loaded wrong. Okay. Turbo Bird. Boom. So, what the idea with tonight was... Uh, being able to catch up on YouTube. Yeah, it's always a good thing. The VODs on Twitch are not fantastic. Proxy modded for credit kiting. <laughs> yeah, I know what that's about. Um, they're not fantastic. Uh, it's kind of hard to find them. They don't last forever. So YouTube has been doing a good job of that, which is really cool. Let's do this. Althorion, 3 a.m. where I live. If I wasn't working, I'd watch on YouTube afterwards as a tickly dude. Hey, that's perfect. Um, that's really good. Uh, glad that's working out for you. I'm um, kind of regret not being on YouTube sooner. I wish we were putting out YouTube videos, though, so the channel didn't just look like a live stream dump, but... Apex Infested JNet? It's not that bad, is it? Oh, I see what you mean. I thought you meant like a lot of people were playing it. Mammy Chris, what card from Wetnell are you most excited about? RNG Key? RNG Key seems so fun. Uh, we gotta look at this deck soon today. Um, let me see, because I don't remember all the cards, but there's some really good stuff. I think we're one or two cards away. McKevitt, how's it going? Thanks for dropping by. I uh, hope you're doing all right. Um, there's some really cool stuff in here. I think Credit Kiting is really cool. RNG Key is really good. I think Night Dancer is insane. Uh, but we yet to see how good that is. Uh, I'm really, don't worry, don't like it, Economic Warfare. Uh, and I think Force Connection. I think we're like one or two cards away from having like a real PE style Trap Argus deck. The problem was just Waylon did not have enough good like install, install, install. And you have three traps on the table. And I think we're starting to hit that point, And that's going to be a really fun deck to play. Because it is a bit more combo heavy than just personal evolution where you're just trying to like, you know, do enough damage. Uh, so I'm excited about that. That's for sure. Um, but there's a lot of good stuff. There's a lot of good neutral cards and that's always cool. Alright, emergency shutdown is in. So uh, they know what we're up to. That's fine. Let's see how it goes. Unless they play Arc Lockdown, we'll be okay. Even Arc Lockdown might not be the end of the world. 
If you're playing against Scorpio, Scorpios is a really bad matchup for this deck, and you have some ways out. Uh, you can always rebirth immediately as soon as you get it, as long as you don't lose it, which is scary. And we're against Next Design, which they have a lot of click compression, but so do we. We have a lot of card draw. Oh, this deck actually is running Inject. I must have missed that. Um, we have two breakers in hand, which is not bad. We kind of right, like them to have in a bin, but we really don't have anything to play turn one. We could just do Inject and to install Ice Carver. Not the best. I think we might want to mulligan into a bit more money. Uh, because we get the free card draw, some of our bad hands like get better sooner. So I think we're going to go ahead and... Whoa, they installed nothing. Whoa! Oh, man. Uh, well, now we have a really good opening. We can mulligan. They did a full whiff. No ice in hand after a mulligan as next design. That is impressive. So we're going to go take that mulligan because we definitely have it. McKevitt says, all is well. Bought the revised course set last weekend. Cheers. Um, that's a really cool box. It's actually like a really good box. We are losing and reconnecting to the server a fair bit. Uh, this is not good. Has JNet been not good today? Maui, I played against an RNG Adam deck. Worked really well with Find the Truth. I think that's like one of the best like two card combos you can play with that. It's like that and equivocation. Oh shit, is everything broken? Is the stream good, everyone? Is the stream still running fine? Because JNet seems bad, which is an issue. Um, but I'm even excited to play RNG in like, a, a deck that has no synergy inherently. Because it's like a really low opportunity cost, and it's fun. It makes every run like an exciting little game, whether or not that's super competitive. I think we borked this. Stream all good. Thanks, Mad Dog. I think JNet is busted. Authorion, perfect. Excellent. Um, this is not good. Is Jaina down? Is, is anybody else playing right now that has problems with Jaina? Uh, because chat's not going through. It says we're reconnected. That button works. I'm gonna give that. Can't even concede. We're stuck. That's bad. Does this mean we sit around telling ghost stories? That's the beginning of it. Um, we can all kind of sit around and just like talk about our days. You know, like how'd your day go today? Uh, I think it's nice. You talk about those sort of things. Maybe what are you worried about as a person? I think that's generally pretty healthy. We have a good hand too, right? We got money. We got two breakers, a stim hack to charge remotes. Yo, what's up, Johnny? I think uh, my JNet's down. Is your JNet fine? Because my JNet is definitely not moving. Oh, boy. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. Let's give it another shot. If you're just tuning in, things are good. 29 games. Let's give that one more shot. I see games now. Okay. I think the font is reloaded. We'll try and do that again. Johnny, if you want to join up again, you get another shot of finding ice. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do this. So there's 20, 30 games right now. Actually, that's pretty good. Oh, shit. Johnny, I did not... Fuck. I didn't wait for this. We'll play the other game against your, uh, your you know, your, uh, the Pheromones deck. Sorry. Best of luck. Have fun. How thankful are we JNet exists? Everyone that keeps going is freaking awesome. Yeah, a huge shout out to the people that make JNet. Yeah, sorry, Johnny. Um, we'll figure it out tonight. Uh, this hand's actually pretty good against NEH. We have a Hacktivist in hand, which is really great. They might want to rush out and add Ares. We got to figure out what kind of NBN Neuroth Hub NEH deck this is. So some early accesses are good, but we got money. We got Hacktivist. That's basically all we need. I think this deck has one scrubber, which is basically, they, I think Simon Moon said it was a flex slot. So it's not necessary if we draw it, I think we're going to be in a really good spot. But let's see how spammy this deck is. I've seen some people play Glacier NEH, just as like a 17 influence ID that's not dead. Like it has a decent ability. And I think that's not bad. I remember back in the Mont Montreal meta a while, there was like two Caprice NEH decks. They're honestly like pretty reasonable. Playing some sort of Glacier. I really don't think this is it based on how things are going right now. It's probably not it. 
DRTNEH, there's a chance. I haven't played a lot against it. I think actually last week we played against it. Um, let's see what we mill. If we get our scrubber, we're good. Ah, career fair is actually like a perfect draw. So we could career fair this down. We can money career fair that down. Hacktivist run one. I think that's pretty good. We're going to career fair this down last click. So we can run one and then last click liberated creeper or just click for a credit because we might want to respect hard hitting news. So that actually might be a mistake. Uh, I guess worst case here is Mumbed virtual tour. Price tag is not that bad. It's a Maryland campaign. No, they can res that if they want. So if we run this, it gives us a tag. We get punished by hard hitting news, but not hard hitting news. Excuse me. Uh, close accounts. There you go. We got it. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed to do because if they scored this, it turns off the current and that's a huge deal. And so now their Maryland's going to be sitting. And we have a pretty good turn coming up. Uh, if they want to see source us, it's all their money. So we're actually in a really good spot. You have to get this one early because NEH doesn't have that CTM built in. If they score this, it's such a big deal. And they might be on the 3-1 uh, fast advance card, calibration testing. Uh, I don't know if we got to run all this stuff. HQ is also really good because if they install things, they draw. And uh, give us a scrubber. Okay, no scrubber. I think we'll inject for scrubber. No scrubber, that's fine. We can uh, career fair our daily cast last click, which is really good. And we have a black orchestra in the bin, which is great. So we can check two of these and then career fair out the daily cast throughout the MK Ultra. Actually, we don't need to throw that. Explode a Palooza. Okay, good for us, I guess. Trash Mumba Temple. Okay, we're not going to trash that. So now we know that they're not on global food, which is a big deal because that might be mean they're running actual 5-3s. I think we need to keep the money up because we got a bit further behind with Explodapalooza. So if this is an Aries, they're in a really good spot. There's a chance it is, obviously. So we're just going to career fair this out because it gives us the most clickless economy, which is really good when you want to check all these cards. Let's see if they advance server 5. That would be pretty bad. All right. Acid. And they're going for the server testing. It looks like they got the fast advance, so we needed to check that last card. It looks like they can turn off the Hacktivist. Not that big of a deal, considering we have another one. And they're probably scaring out a Beal, and that's fine. And so right now, if they really want to pre-res all their stuff, they should. It looks like they aren't, which means we're going to hit them with another Hacktivist. And that's perfect. So we know what both of these cards are. They threw out one in Archives, which is relatively cool. I think I'd rather check HQ, because they didn't control the draw. That being said, we've seen already five points, so we might as well go see what's in HQ, I guess. Using this to check remotes is also really good. Maybe we just want to set up this turn. Ah, no, that paid off. That paid off handsomely. So if we install this, we go down to 6. We hit it, we go down to 10, which is still pretty good. And then we have clickless economy. I'm not actually sure what we need to draw into. Yeah, we're actually pretty comfortable with money. I think we can just get their axes and hopefully we like win this. This is also really big because now they're going to lose this card. Oh, it's an Archangel. That's fine. I don't think they pay 4 to make us lose 3. Seems bad. Or is it three for three? Excuse me. So now if they res anything, they trash the Archangel, which is really good. So we can check R&D. Uh, Mad Dog, DRT is dedicated response team from the core set. That's a Turtlebacks. We know they don't have tag punishment. I don't want them to draw that. I guess we'll trash it. <laughs> Please win, lol. So we have, they have an Archangel and one unknown card. Maybe actually it was best that they drew the unknown card. It's also good to know that they have an Archangel because now accessing the Liberated Account with the Liberated Account installed is kind of bad. So that's an unknown card, and they draw one more unknown card. And our clickless card draw, our clickless credits are really doing well to keep up with this nonsense. As much as Val has bad pub, which helps trashing, free card draw is always good. I played a lot of Max back in the day because I didn't like drawing cards. When I was new in Netrunner, I was bad, about, bad with that. This easily could be the Archangel. Um, yeah, it could be there. Oh, another one. That's really good. I think we can check this. Check HQ. There's a chance if this is something they need to res, they'll trash the HQ card. But I think they're in a bad spot. Launch campaign. Yeah, we'll trash it. We can run HQ. Just click for credits. We're in a good spot. It's gross with AR. Yeah, AR and Virtual Tour is bad. Oh, okay, that is the Archangel, which I don't think they're going to pay for. Um, if we install this and click once, we'll be on four credits so that they can actually punish us with hardly any news. So I think we can actually just draw here once. Stim hack is really good. Credit and throw this one out. 
Uh, we don't have one in the bin. That's good. We really want to draw into our uh, paperclip, which is good. We don't have David for Archangel, which is unfortunate. It's otherwise like you generally want to trace. It's usually better. And you're resing the Mumbad. Uh, you oh sorry you can't. You can't res that. Yeah, you need you need to be able to discard a card. It's an additional cost. Yeah, so this card says it's an additional cost. So if you have no cards in hand, you actually can't res Marilyn. Not a, I think a lot of people miss that because this is phrased as an additional cost, as not as opposed to when you res trash it, which means if you can't discard a card, you can't actually. If you have no cards in hand, you can't res things with Hacktivist on the table. So that's cool. Yeah, the wording on that runner, well, obviously, like most things, you know, it's, it's particularly, uh, you gotta watch out for the specific semantics. And they lost their Archangel, which is really good. It's really good for us. Okay. Did they draw a free card from that? Yeah, they did. Okay. Well, they would have drawn it anyways, I guess. Yeah, fine. So, unknown card in HQ, unknown card surveyed. Archangel's in the bin now, so it's a lot easier to install it. And they just drew an unknown card. I don't know whether one of you draw last. I think you want to draw first. I guess, well, no, you would install the draw. And then maybe draw again. No, they, they did everything fine. Because they drew with this one. So, we don't know this. We don't know any cards in HQ. So, I think this... Oh, perfect. So, we're going to have two cards to check to stay on top of the game. If this isn't a hard-hitting news, the chance of them top-decking one is really low. And uh, they might actually throw this one out if they res this. So actually, running them on by Temple is pretty good. Assembly lines. Yeah, I'll trash that. So this card seems better than two credits, which can be a, a lot as an ask, considering they didn't res. Uh, I think still we have enough money. We want to trash this, probably. Because they're going to res this. So like, check this out. If we run server 4, they might free-res the Maryland to throw this out, so we don't actually have to check it, technically. So I think running this is pretty good. Cool. And so now this is a Maryland, which... Jeeves Byroids. We can't afford that right now. Uh, we can install our same old thing, which lets us levy. Uh, we can also click for a credit. At 7, if they do top tick hard-hitting news, we'll have one credit. Uh, Mad Dog, do we know of any new Wayland ID this cycle? We do. It's been spoiled in a marketing piece. It involves face-up agendas. And gives you free advancement counters. You can check it out. I think it's in like the third or fourth pack. It's on FFG's website. It's definitely been spoiled. I think it's a 40 card deck. I might be mistaken. So you definitely don't want to install that. Because then we have to worry about a lot of stuff. And with Jeeves in hand. I think we'll just install this. Ah, clicking for... Oh, we actually... No, clicking for credit doesn't matter. Because we'll have two off the daily cast. So we, in theory, could clear a hard hitting news. Yeah, Mad Dog, if someone in chat can help you out if you can't find it, I'm, it's definitely 100% been spoiled. So two unknown cards in HQ, three unknown cards in HQ. Most things they would jam at this point, so it might mean that they're drawing agendas. I think there's one unknown in archives. Okay, so they didn't do anything this turn, which is a perfect turn for us to get down our Liberated. Uh, we still don't have a Barrier Breaker, which kind of sucks, but we can definitely drop this down. Credit, credit. Last click, we can run HQ. If they pay three to bounce this, it's... It's kind of bad. It's not the worst. Hedge fund, okay. Well, it's still fine. We're above hardening news. Sea source is a bit bad. That idea was so edge case, it's ridiculous. I, I think it's actually not that hard to get value out of. If you do install advanced advance of 5.3, you're fine. Yo, what's up, this guy? Something about advancing ice for public agendas? That's exactly it. Shutdown, you're saying the new Code Breaker and Crim is amazing? I don't want to talk about spoilers for the sixth data pack because some people in chat or on YouTube might not want their cards spoiled. So if you want to continue talking in Twitch chat, fine, I guess. I'm just not going to talk about it. Spoilers came out, by the way. The sixth data pack came out. Someone got it by accident. So the only thing we can't get through here is a barrier. If we get a barrier in the bin, which we don't have so far, we lost our scrubber. Uh, we could, in theory, uh, what's it called? This. This is probably a toll booth, right? If it is a toll booth, we're fine. The only thing we can't get through basically is paperclip. I, wow, is like wraparound or vanilla. Because anything else we could uh, stim hack through and either th go through the trace on IP block or anything else. So let's go find our breaker. Nope. Let's go find our breaker. 
Yeah, okay, I think we win. Unless it's a trap. So we can get through most things for 19 credits. Oh, it's an IP block. So we don't even need our breaker. That was one that we could definitely trace through. And it looks like that's probably a good game. Yeah, there you go. GG. Cool. So both barrier breakers on the bottom eight. That happens, but we got to it soon enough. Yay. Add the third in hand. Hacktivist is so good against um, anything with spam. Trashing HQ is really strong. Murder. Quite. See you around, eh? All right, let's do another one. Uh, Johnny, uh, if you want to corp against us, because we'll be running, I'll be down to do it. Next design's really fun. Let me know in chat real quick if that's the case. If you're just tuning in, by the way, my name is Andre. This is Matchball Grid. How's it going? Um, this is how you drink water, I guess. Mmm. Mmm. All right, I'm going to make it... Pro uh, do you, do you want to... Yeah, emergency shutdown. Do you want to host? Just because if I name it private or something, it's going to be... I don't know. People might not join. It'll be weird. Spectators and stuff like that. Thank you. So what do we plan to do tonight? Tonight we plan to do some weird stuff. Uh, specifically weird stuff. We had our store championship... It was this Sunday. Uh, Montreal has another one. Uh, or Gatineau, which is like basically Ottawa, has one this weekend. But I'm not going to be able to go to it. And there is one coming up in a bit. In like two, three weeks. Uh, the Star Championship went really well for me. Uh, there was only 17 players, so it wasn't particularly that big for Montreal standards. Uh, came in first in Swiss and ended up coming first overall. So we took that one home, um, which is really great because now... The pressure is off, and we can just play weird stuff. We can start showing up with store championships with like non-competitive decks, quote unquote, which is fantastic because that's the fun net runner. Uh, so that's really good. So we're gonna do some weird stuff tonight. We got a cool Persephone deck that's been floating around Montreal. It's uh, from uh, Julien, and Remy has been playing it a lot, which is really cool. Hey Johnny, sorry, are you hosting or should I do it? Um. So we're going to do ready whenever. Okay. Uh, you want to host? I don't want to call mine private. Sean, are you going to Canadian Nats? I'm going surprisingly. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, of course I'm going. Um, it's in March. Uh, I, th I forget the date. I think it's like the around St. Patrick's Day weekend thing. That weekend's like in the middle of March. If you want to come to Canada, it's in Toronto. It's at a convention, too, so it might be a bit of a bigger event. Sorry, Johnny, I'm just going to host, I think. Oh, no, you got it, you got it, you got it. Um, I'm excited. It seems like a smaller event. Like, I think they're capped at a certain amount of players, which is kind of crazy. But Canadian Nationals is always fun. I don't know whether VTTV is going to be streaming it or not. It turns out it's, uh, I don't know. It's a different venue. It turns out it was in Toronto anyway that week. Hey, welcome. Um, this hand's not fantastic. Our men is very relaxed. Always a lot of silly decks showing up each week. It's great. Our G and Ks are generally more silly, but there's a lot of, like, really competitive players in Montreal, and so they bring a lot of stuff. Like, I think on Sunday there was, like, a third of the field was Val, maybe a ha uh, another third was, like, CTM, some CI. But, like, the top is, like, very, very good stuff. We had two Leela in the top four. Leela is, like, really scary against CTM and pretty good against CI. So we don't want this. We want a card draw against Rush. Uh, one breaker in hand is good. We have no economy. We do have stim hacks. Scrubber is probably useless. Sometimes these decks run Brian Stinson or other stuff like that, clearances. Um, so I think having opening money is really good to deal with Brian Stinson. So we're going to go ahead and mulligan that. Yeah, that's better. Sorry, left stream. All good. Yo, YouTube chat, what's up? <laughs> it's like really quiet in the YouTube chat. I had no idea you were talking. Oh, oh, dang. All good. Best of luck. Have fun. All right, so this time Johnny got two ice. Let's see if that helps him. I top Apex and Cyber next to my only success seed this year and came in last, unsurprisingly. I think Apex is competitive. Apex has been taking some store championships this year. Oh, this looks like a Brian Stinson turn. Hedge fund, Stinson, hedge fund. Um, Apex has been doing good. Anachron, what's up? I'm not sure what that question mark means. It looks like lateral growth, Stinson. Or are we just jamming it? Oh, we just jamming an agenda. Okay, so we have one breaker in the bin, one in hand, which means in theory we could dirty laundry R&D, charge the server. We could even install the Black Orchestra. If it's a Turing, we can click through. I think we might actually be able to get this one. 
There's an ash on the top. Don't want to trash that. Don't want to trash that. Okay, for 8 credits, we can break anything, any ice here of barrier of 4 strength. If we drop down our Black Orchestra, we can break any barrier of 1 strength. So it's basically vanilla. Oh, yo, what happened? Holy shit. Uh, YouTube chat just caught up uh, all at once. I don't know what I'm saying. There's a lot of people in here. Give me one second to catch up with. I have no idea what just happened. That is nuts. Okay, sorry, YouTube. Um, shit. Okay, so it's either the Black Orchestra run or Barrier run. I think there's no reason why we can't do the both. Unless this is Fairchild 3, we're going to look dumb. Seder. We got it. So it's really important we did install it. And we can still career fair at the daily cast, which is good. Ash is really good because our credit count is low. We got the CST, which is really good. Keep Johnny back. And we have two clicks left. I think we want to credit and put this down. We are weak to Brian Stinson, but they could have done that first turn, I guess. We have a pulse. Alice, what's up? Vadim, how's it going? Zach, man, I'm... That chat is flying. Ninja Mike, what's up? Card Captain Twitch is competitive in a run. Do you have to bring a runner corp deck? 100%. You play both in round. You have 65 minutes. Oathwood, what's up? You have 65 minutes to play both. That could be an Ash. That could be a 3-2. I don't care if they score a blank 3-2. We're fine. We got Rebirth. I like the card draw, though. We have all their breakers. Um, Oh, man. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch up on YouTube. Basically, I never catch a stream. Oh, okay, watch while I'm falling asleep. Hey, have a pleasant evening. Um, Stream's running good. Zelda, what's up? Is Netrunner a fun game? Zelda, Netrunner is like one of the best games. We've been playing it for years, and it only... There were some bad parts that were worse than others, but it's really good right now. Ninja Mike, you have 65-minute matches, one game per each match. Yeah, you want to bring both sides to an official tournament. If you want to play casually, card captor, you can show up with no decks and ask to borrow your, your opponent's decks. System Outage, what's that? What's up? We're back. Yeah, okay. YouTube is back up. Okay, what are we playing this turn? We can get through here. It'll be a lot of money. We don't want to do that. We need to make money before we charge things. This card's actually pretty good in this matchup. Uh, they draw pretty heavily, so the chance of there being an edge agendas in HQ is actually relatively high. If we want to deal with Ash, though, we want to keep our credits up. I think we'll draw. Hacktivist is not bad against Ash. Oh, knifed is really good. We can always throw this out, so this is fine. We can always throw this out, which is fine. Okay, so those are some not great draws. We have some redundancy, and we're going to start with seven credits next turn. It's getting great since IG is getting viable again. Oh, man. We also not over Brian Stinson, which sucks, and we didn't see what ice they drew and probably iced up R&D. So we want to keep the pressure up. I think we want to run HQ this turn. If it's something that loses credits, it's better to play Sure Gamble first, but I'd be worried about something that takes our clicks. No. It's a Fairchild 3. Are they really running Fairchild 3? What restricted card is next running? I assume it's Global Food. Because Fairchild 3 isn't that rushy. Now well, let's find out. Let's find out. It could be the new uh, card. The new, what's it called? Okay, Rota Turret. So it's either we break this for 5 and get an access, or we lose our paperclip for 4. I'm going to lose our paperclip for 4 just so we can sure gamble next turn and they're only on four credits which is really good so their ash and the remote is actually really bad or a bunch worse so we probably won't have to levy this turn so i don't want to actually keep on to that one and we have a second hacktivist so i think we just play it because i'm pretty sure this is an ash andre thank you for showing us how to properly drink water it's been jumping on my face all these years finally i'm not thirsty now we figured it out and their turns are not that exciting credit 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 are they playing decks i play that's really good um, dog, all the new cards coming out. All the new cards have been really good. Jazz for the new Anarch. The new Anarch is actually going to be a really big deal. Seems incredibly competitive. Yo, what's up, Jankivist? Evening, digging the specs. Thank you. I've had problems with my eyes for the last, like, week or so, so I have to wear glasses for a while. I don't normally wear glasses, but... We have Scrubber in the bin, which is the same old thing, Scrubber. I think we want to make sure that we they res everything. I don't know what much we can be punished by. Okay, we're going to get single accesses. That's good. It's assembly lines. Um... Not actually sure why they're running that. They don't get that much value. I guess this means that they're running clearances because you get more value. You can double install after you play Ultraviolet. We'll go ahead and trash that. We can run R&D once more against Fairchild 3 would suck, but they go down to 1. Yeah, Remy, this is Decklist of the Week. Hey, McEvitt, thanks for dropping by. So Rota Turret off the top. This actually could be Marcus Batty Arc Lockdown, so I'm kind of scared if they're running that many Rota Turrets, but that actually just could be like a good Rush Ice. We also have the ability to rebirth into Omar, but I think I like the free card draw a heck of a lot. We can also just knife this. 
to get her. Nah, let's just keep her money up. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Vadim, I'm really psyched for Pneumatic, but really I'm psyched for some actual blue cards. Last two packs has been a huge letdown. I think there's some really good blue cards coming up. Uh, what did we get this pack in blue? I don't have the pack in front of me. We got something, right? Credit kiting. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that one. Okay, so agenda density in HQ is actually pretty high. Uh, three credits for a run, though, is going to be a lot. We could also knife this and hope that there's not a double paperclip. I want to kill the Ash before we actually have to run the server a couple times. And this is probably the Roto Turret, right? We could also just take the money. Yeah, money's good. If we if there's an Ash here, we have to run it twice. But if they res the site, it'll probably cost them three to four credits. They can't really do this twice. So I think we'll just take the money because we have everything. Hopefully we top deck a stim hack and we're golden. I'm interested for the new Crim Runner also with Zomba and stuff. Yeah, the new Crim Runner runners is like gonna be really good. Whether or not you go all into the exposed plan, like just that ability is kind of strong. There's a chance that it's gonna be favored. Like I think newer players like exposed better because it's more valuable to newer players that don't know the whole card pool, don't know what to expect. And I think that's kind of cool. It's like a really good for uh, maybe a newer player. I guess in some way it might be difficult. Okay, now these are gonna get out of hand, which sucks. Give us a stim hack. Oh, indexing. That's just as good. Let's go. And so far we have one, two same old things in the bin, so we might want to keep on the levy. And this also could be a Mirage, considering they're not running. But run ability. So they have the foods. Uh, Vanilla, we don't want them to draw because it protects their satyr. So actually we probably wanted to knife that earlier because they're going to protect it. Um, Brian doesn't matter. We can put Brian on the top after food. So in what order do we want that? I don't like Turing. I don't like... Architect. I don't like vanilla. They, they might put vanilla. They'll do Brian food. Okay. So let's run again. If they shuffle here, it'll suck. Andre, do me a favor and say the following. Hey, Jeff Stroob, all the cool kids play Expose. I don't know what I just endorsed. Yo, quite a good turn. Like the new item tech, RNG key seems really cool just because it makes every single run exciting on the central server. Even if you don't have like any of the cool reveal stuff. Even if you don't have any of that fun stuff. We could go ahead and knife this. I think with 24 credits. We just don't want to spend too much money because they're drawing a Brian off the top, right? Oh, we already have a bunch of those in play. Okay. We don't need three of these in the matchup. It's out of its free, if I'm assuming correctly. I think that's no influence, right? Very good chance of credit siphoning with the new AS. The code gate ability in the corp almost always need to lose a credit through Zomba. Yeah, criminals are going to get annoying, that's for sure. It looks like they're going to score here. Don't have that much money to do it. If that is an Ash in there. We ran that turn, so they can't really fast events out besides Biotic, which is too expensive. I think we'll just... Oh, that's a perfect draw. So we can do this, this, and I think we're good. If they want to raise their Ash, they have to throw a card out from hand. Okay, so we'll break that. I think the second one also might be a Roto Turret, which is a lot of money for them, considering they need three more credits for this. It's two for Ash. We're going to trash this bad boy. That's going to be expensive, though. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, that's some money. So at least that one's trashed, and then this one will be cheaper. So extra value. Hitbox, Jace, what's up? Thanks for dropping by. Oh, there's only three credits. Excuse me. Oh, it goofed our position. So we paid three for that one. So we should be gone. It pushed me back one. I paid three for the second 419 gonna get strong with the new siphon um maybe there is a new siphon who knows they trashed one card it's only trace they can spend like five on here we'll still be above uh stinson because we can click for four so no matter what this is really good for us unless this is some weird trap and even then it'll be fine they're in a really bad spot they probably have two more agendas in hq we're on game point we'll trash that what oh oh shit I was meant to boost. I be. <laughs> we just hit okay. Thanks. Yeah, we were meant to boost that. I don't know why we didn't. And uh, we're going to still be fine because we can credit up over Brian Stinson. Unless this somehow saps us credits, which is super unlikely. Yeah. I'm disappointed that we still don't have any inkling on the new most wanted list. I think things have been fine so far that like I don't I'm not like clamoring for new most wanted list. We know the next three cards. 
and we want to keep it over six so we'll take that for sure and we can just click for a credit i think running hq is really good but again we just want to respect stinson because stinson crawls them out of this hole calling that beard what's up how's it going um oh stroop was in chat too so there's five cards in archives that might be worth checking if we oh we have another indexing that will see us three new cards uh, I don't know if we need to play that. If they score a three-two agenda to clear this and go down to zero, I don't care. So we just check archives, I guess. This also could easily be the Brian Stinson. Oh wow! Oh geez! Oh, how did how did that happen? <laughs> Oof! So we had the credits. We had the card draw. We could always charge the remote, and they don't have much tricks besides that. Uh, in that remote server, right? Like all they're doing is playing honest ice, no Marcus Batty, nothing like that. So if you can always have the money to contest the remote, they're gonna be in a bad spot. Why didn't you go trash that server? I don't know what you mean, Remy. I think we uh backed out. Is CI still insane? Yeah, it is. Uh, it is still really good. Yikes. Okay, well, that's Max. That's free card, yeah. Okay, well, hey, if you're just tuning in, oh, I should have said bye. Uh, I did not. Uh, we'll find Johnny in chat. Um, okay, if you're just tuning in, uh, my name is Andres from the Metropol Grid. Yo, what's up, Jim? Mr. Store Champ Report. It was good. Hey, hey, Johnny. Yeah, that was kind of rough. Sorry about that. Uh, got ice that time, though, which is good. Um, Store Champ Report, really quick, Jim. Uh, first in Swiss, first overall. Took home the plaque and the, the regional buy, which is really good, because now we can play just, like, weird stuff. Every time I see Flood like that, I cry for Jackson Howard. There's a pseudo new card shuffling card in the new pack. Distract the masses. It's a really cool flavor. Um, runner gains two, trash two cards from HQ, shuffle two from Archive and R&D. Remove from game. That's not bad. That's okay. It's okay. Hey, Vadim, thank you. Um, so we're going to do some weird stuff tonight, and we're going to start with the weird stuff with this deck, which hopefully loads. There we go. So check this out. We're going to do weird crap just all over today. Oh, Jinja, man, would be so good in that deck. Can I quickly ask your opinion on Seder as an HBID? Um, I'm not a big fan of Seder hitbox. Uh, there just needs to be more cards. It's I don't like uh, Netrunner IDs on the corpse side that depend on your ice to be good. The stream's getting kinky. How did that get kinky so fast? What's up, Kinchin? Um, also, Sean, thank you. I was playing Valencia and uh, Scorpios. So uh, most of the cards that make you lose clicks are ice. And that is if you don't break the ice. And any ability like Nisei Division that's like play a side game or like uh, Making News, the core NBN, where traces were generally only on ice for a long time, they weren't particularly good uh, for a while. And some of them still aren't because it depends on your ice subroutines firing. And there's just not enough good ice in the game that makes you lose a click that you can't just break normally. So I think it's kind of a trap. That's the way I see it. You said you were into weird stuff. Hey. Um, so I'm not a big that big fan of Seder. I think it needs a couple more cards. Like we played Seder Asset Spam last stream, which you can check out on YouTube or Twitch, and we had some okay fun with that. I've also noticed a lot of times people who play Seder, they're just putting like hedge fun on the top of their deck, which is probably not that great. Like some, you want to draw through your deck, you don't want to just stall out four four credits. Like it's you lose card draw, and that's also really good. So I'm, I've never been the biggest fan of it. Why no tinkering? Uh, tinkering's not permanent enough. We're on Egret. I've never played this deck, Hot Dog Man. How's it going, by the way? Okay. Um, so this is Persephone deck. This deck originally was made by a dude in my meta named Julien. He's been on the stream before. A uh, very interesting deck builder. And it's based off of this joke of a card called Persephone, which probably no one's played. Um, it says that you can break a century subroutine for two credits. Two credits per subroutine, bad. It's five to install. It takes two MU. Uh, one for one strength, and that's like altogether a really bad breaker, and that's why it has this weird text in the bottom, which says whenever you pass a sentry, you may trash the top card of the stack to trash one card from the top of R&D for each subroutine on the sentry that resolved. So you have to get through a sentry, you have to not fire any of the subroutines, or at least some amount of them, and then you can trash your deck to trash other people's deck. Which, also this card's not unique, so we're playing three of them. This deck technically works. I've seen this deck work, I've lost to this deck, I think more than once. And the idea is that you can get these out relatively cheaply with things like, uh, not Hyper Driver, but things with Leprechaun that make them take up not MU, so you have a lot of them. With all the shit installed, you have Maven, which is like a decent enough breaker. And then you can basically make certain ice that you don't have to break the subroutines of. And there's a fair bit of ice that you can let the subroutines fire in a lot of cases. Or you can just egret things and kind of force it your way. 
Percepting playmat from GNK looks pretty sexy. I don't think I've seen those. Are those for the new one? Um, oh, from Cash Refresh. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't see those. Um, yeah, it's going to be really not great, but again, it's actually a really scary deck uh, once it gets up and running. There's some matchups, like, we're just bad against assets. That should be obvious. But against, like, ice server stuff, it's actually relatively good because at some point you're, like, trashing three cards to make the court crash, like, nine. And trashing nine just wins you the game a lot of times. So, uh, good luck, us. I think Maya is not a good card in this deck. I think we're just going to make this uh, Astrolabe so we can get some free card draw. You backs, maybe, but it's a bit too expensive. Um, and then we're in a good spot. Uh, 46 cards also is a bit suspicious, but again, I haven't tried this deck, so we'll find out what the 46th card is. Well, it seems pretty okay. It's honestly, like, pretty goofy. And, I've again, I've lost to it. I think it, it really does eat certain decks. Um, so, shout out. Also, Remy in chat has uh, been playing a lot of this one. So, uh, that's why it's called Cap. Uh, we're playing Haley. And I'm going to take out the Maya because I'm never going to pay for that. And we're just putting two Astrolabes because it's a good card. And then it makes our matchup against Ass the Asset Spam not terrible. This deck makes it want to make pop-up window bad. Yeah, this deck makes pop-up window really bad. Really, 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 really bad. Uh, and some other ice is really bad. Like Mouselisk becomes terrible. Data Raven's hilarious. Uh, anything with traces really bad on it. There's also like a bunch of, you know, NBN ice that has weird traces on it. Hey, does anyone know, does Metropol Grid have a Twitter? I want to follow it for updates and streaming schedules. Uh, afraid not, Dabuya. I'm not really into Twitter. i got to figure out something, though. We generally stream at the same time every week, uh, but I do stream on top of that sometimes, which kind of sucks that I don't have a good way to uh, let you know. But I'll look into that for sure. I've got. I've been asked about that. Let's give this a whirl. System outage from YouTube is in here. Um, hopefully they don't really snipe us, but... Uh, Let's go. Tight and fast advance. That might be an issue. <laughs> Best of luck. Have fun. We don't know if this fast advance. Destroy pop a window meta. Uh, cards in hand that are good. This is bad in our hand. This is not great. These are okay. Uh, this one's not obviously okay. Okay, cool, cool. Cheers. Let's give this a shot. Twitch app on phones will tell you when followed channels are streaming. Yeah, also YouTube does it too if you're watching on YouTube. It'll give you a notification, which might be annoying. Uh, we're going to go ahead and mulligan this. We can do better. That's technically better, right? Like, Beth is good early. This is good early. We have two levies, I'm pretty sure. Um, so the chance of us drawing one wasn't insignificant. And we just want to get our clot on our table so we can bring that up. And we also have Sacrificial Construct, so our clot actually sticks pretty good. And against Titan, that's kind of like a really big deal. So we're playing Haley, which means we got to plan out our turn. Uh, we have a Haley install here, but uh, I think we want to draw once. So we can double install this so we can draw again. Then we can do hedge fund double install. Hyper driver, not that great right now. We want to double install with that if we can. So we'll just go ahead and put these bad boys down too. Uh, do we want to show artist colony? That's fine. Same old thing technically gives us more value in the early game, but this is fine too. You can also turn on Twitch notifications and send you an email. Yeah, you can hit the bell on Twitch. So they can rush an atlas behind a single piece of ice. We don't have a lot going on for that. Horton, by the way, you can let them gain a credit if you make it a century and you can get through it, which is great. Uh, we got a credit, free credit, so Beth has only one credit cost. This card's busted. Uh, let's keep drawing. We got SMC double install here. That's really good. It just, it is too much MU. So let's get that. No, not yet. So draw one. If we draw one more, we have to throw out a card. I think we can throw out a levy for sure. Or we can throw the Beth. So we can't double install this. Uh, the only fast events they could have in their hand is either Shipment from Tenon or Audacity. And I don't think either of those are that bad. So let's just drop this and do uh, a setup turn. So we, the Beth is technically more valuable than the second Levy. Eh, maybe not. Unless they like MCA this, we'll feel fine. You played on Maya for the extra 2 MU. Oh, I might be missing out on that. Maya's really cheap for 2 MU, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to pop this. Now, the problem is if we use our SMC to break through this, we can't really because we have Maven. So let's draw up. We probably have to let one go. And we need... Well, that's bad. We need to pop this. <laughs> oh, man, this is not easy to play. We need to pop this for our Leprechaun because we need to get these bad boys on it. So we'll just keep this on the table. We'd have no double install this turn. Uh, we can install an Egret. But it's only on a res piece of ice, so no thanks. 
Uh, we have, oh, I forgot how many clicks we had. We could have kept drawing. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, technically, that's cheating. Technically cheating. Um, now I'm proud of that. So now that's good because we can pop one of these next turn and then do double install with Persephone. Or we can also install SMC to pull out uh, Leprechaun and then install this onto Leprechaun and then next turn modded it out. And we're actually in a really good spot at that point. We have double Persephone, which is okay. You need to watch out for Mr. Pipes so you start trashing Wayland cards. Yeah, that's true. But I'm not sure if Persephone says the Corp trashes or we trash. You may trash the top guard. Oh, we trash. So yeah, Mr. Baseball Bat is going to show up eventually. I think we just need money at this point, because this deck doesn't have a lot of money. So I think we're just going to drop this and click for, like, uh, all the money. So we'll be fine. Mine is a cheap 2MU console. Yeah, I think that's what we have to use that for. All right, Atlas Train on the way. Uh, they still have to respect the fast events. We're going to go ahead and get our value here. They have to throw out a card. So we're going to pull out the High Leprechaun. And we'll install this on the Leprechaun. And we're kind of there. We probably need to keep this for our breaker. We have very little money. We can get this out for two credits, which is not bad. Draw. Oh, our egrets in hand are pretty rough. Draw. Uh, we don't have a double install here. Keeping the same old thing for a hand for a double install is pretty bad. Our economy sucks, Remy. What is this? Why is the shaper card next to Persephone? This is a modded. It's the new core set modded. Going down to no credits sucks, because then it also means that we don't threaten Clot. Which is really bad. So this is definitely a misplay. We need four credits for Clot. So again, there's not much they could do besides shipping from Tenon. But uh, I think this deck is going to go too fast for us to see what we can do. Unless we can get the Clot threat up. Which we need to always keep an SMC on the table to do that. Luckily, it doesn't look like they're advancing ice. So Trick of Light isn't on the table. If we run, we're like really weak to hard hitting news. Which they can pull with an Alice counter. So this is kind of scary. Okay, at least we have a fan site. Let's diesel. All right, fan site sack on. That's a double install if we've ever seen one. Uh, then we can click for credits. Hasra Texan makes it easier at all times for us to. Uh... But this is gonna be another atlas, and then we're like in a bad spot. So what do we want to mod it up? We can mod this down to get it for free. I think we might need to do that. Because the next big install is going to come from here. And I think we need another Leprechaun. The only problem is we'll have no MU after that point. So we need another Leprechaun. I bet your opponent is thinking, what the F WDF right now? So it's a moral victory nothing else. They know what our deck is, actually. They have an idea. And if they score that, that's a free tutor. I think we'll actually just go ahead and mod this down and gain credit. So now that we can use our SMC to install this to, to do some fun stuff. You can also use SMC on the runner's turn while you're running. Or the corpse turn to install your egrets from hand. You can do some cool stuff. It looks like they're going to go up to three points with double Atlas counter. So, at least we have a fan sight. We got to start trashing things. We really do. Eager can make you pass through everything. Yeah, but we also need credits. You have no credits. This is not good. Draw. Another fan sight. Probably not going to matter. I think they're going to score out their 5-3 from here. Draw. We don't have the MU for Leprechaun. That's rough. Draw. Oh, this is what the deck needed. We needed to draw this. Okay. Things are good. Things are good. In before Atlas Train. They can't go full Atlas Train. Because at some point we can, like, I don't know, SMC for something and then install Egret. Mill it. I don't know. We need to get through this ice too, though, which sucks. Yeah, this is not going well. Arc Lockdown for Levy? Oh, fine. We have a second one. Not like, like, I don't know. That seems like a really tempting play always, but like, you're on four points. We're not going to Levy. Why waste the credit in the click? Seems not great. Pikmin, going to game night for Netrunner in a sec. Happy to watch the stream for me. It's glad we're dropping by. Oh, that's fine. It's all good. No, we have another Levy. We're fine. Um, So we can double install this and start drawing. Which, uh, we're going to have to draw our way out of this. So we're not going to win quickly. So that's the card that we need. We need to get this one down too. But that means we have to pop this. And as soon as we pop this, they can start fast advancing. Like, they can pull out double audacity, score a 5-3, I think. No, you can't double audacity. It discards the other audacity. Uh, I think we can't hold on to all this stuff. But all this stuff is actually relatively good. We just need MU. Maybe that Maya remove was, like, a real big mistake. 
Um, but once this deck gets going, <laughs> mind you, it's really scary. They're also only on eight credits, which is relatively good. So we go find their shadow or <laughs> Hortum or whatever. Uh, it's not that bad for us. I think we'll draw once more and just discard the worst card. I don't even think we want a Diesel. I think we need a Proko. Like, Diesel, what does that draw us? Our console? That's awkward. Yeah, we really need our console right now so we can get our second Leprechaun down. Oh, you want to fight? You want to rush? I know how to rush. They also could be on Hunter Seeker. Luckily, we are kind of prepared for that. Uh, so if we want to get Maven down, it's going to be like really big. But we have no ice to do. We're just... Yeah, we can also pull this. But we have nothing to install that gives us credits. We should have done that on the corpse turn if we wanted to do it to get the double install. So actually, we needed to fan sight for our uh, for our MU. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's get down our. Um, we could have done this before our astrolabe. That's our double install for this turn. We should have done that on the corpse turn. Let's just say we did that on the corpse turn. So we can install this. We have no room for the maven. If they score this, they can fast advance from hand, which sucks. So I think we just need credits. We can always install this for free. We're not going to double install this turn. Um, it didn't ask us to Haley install. That's weird. Or maybe it did. So we can install these two. I think we have to let this one go. We're going to be playing like really clutch. You got Sakon. We have Sakon, but yeah, I think Yolo Run's probably correct. Cortex Lock is fine. What could be bad here? It's hard hitting news that's an issue. Like tag punishment. And if they're running Arc Lockdown, like I don't know what they're doing. Like that's for Claude, 100%. Yeah, I don't see why we. No, we shouldn't run it. If we run it, what do we pull out? We can't pull out much. I guess we run it and then maybe we can e it, I guess. Yeah, let's see how bad this could be. It's an Enigma. Oh, that's worst case. So we're going to use our install, so that'll buy us a turn. We can just do that. And we have a piece in our time, which we can't play next turn if they score this agenda. Uh, we can not threaten Clot. <laughs> which maybe they actually wanted to fast out that turn and leave this agenda. This'll be fine. Okay. So there's nothing we really, really need. So we can get through this and trash two cards to trash two of their cards. Wait, you can break that server? Yeah, just about now. Um, so we can't play this. I think we're just gonna start a turn. We'll use the hyperdriver, and now we can get set up. Cause their server is gonna suck now. We're prepared for their server. One, two, three. Oh, uh, we can't really, what? Why, we're meant to have seven clicks, what happened? What? Huh? Three. Four four seven. That's right. Take clicks. Yeah. Oh yeah, we fucked that up. Now we get a free card draw. Okay, so we goof that up, that's fine. So we gotta install some things. We need to get the Maven out. Uh no. Nah. Jarkin, how's it going? Yeah, we didn't hit the take clicks button. Zach, yeah. Um, so we, uh, that's fine. So what do we need to do? We can definitely technically break that. Uh, we need to get our Maven down. It helps. We can also start like just getting through that by installing our Maven and then free installing this and then running through this. It costs still a lot to get through, which sucks. And we just don't have the money. We can't play that this turn. So I think we're going to set up, if we show that we have this AI breaker, they could kind of punish us with it. I think no matter what we have to set up, so we're going to install a program onto Leprechaun, which is this one. Oh, no, that's not right. Excuse me. Uh, one, two, three. God, this is a mess. Okay. I think that's correct. And so now we can get through basically everything. And relatively cheaply, too. I don't know if we need the Sahasra anymore, but we're actually relatively set up. We have the multi-threader. 
Oh, we have the egret. I think we just want to click for credits. We can install this, but this doesn't actually matter that much. And we have one of these to go to. So we can actually use the SMC because we have a fan site for Clot, which is really good. Um, so I think we're in an okay spot now. Because now they're kind of locked down. They can't really fast advance. They have two cards they have to deal with. Like, they could have to best defense this, this, and this to be able to fast advance, which is pretty difficult. And we just need money. So we take money, throw this out, throw this out. So let's see if we can get ourselves to work hanging on at six points. Not going to be easy. And I know we didn't play that optimally, but we technically played it, which is important. So they got a firewall? They're just going to try and over advance a firewall? That's an eight strength firewall? Which is a counter to our deck? Remy, what the fuck, man? Did you not plan this out? Uh, we need to install as many programs as possible. We can't get through this firewall anymore. Um, that's hilarious. Okay. That sucks. Okay, we're going to take the money now. We don't have to run. And now we're kind of set up. So we can pull out the last Leprechaun here, which is really good. They might forget about the fan site combo. We can double sun. The so this is good. This pulls out our, our last Leprechaun. Um... Which is good. We can install on this um, either the multi thread or the hyper driver. I think the multi thread is definitely more economy. This is two credits next turn. This represents three credits next turn. This also puts us at eight, nine strength, which they might not have expected. We'll take these credits. So we can't run. We can install more things. Yeah, having another MU would be good. Uh, multi thread is okay now. But I think we can draw up a bit first. And this is probably not going to matter. We have a cute double install here. But I don't actually... Oh, we've used our double install. But I don't think it's going to matter that much. And I want to keep our credits up. We want to keep something in hand so we can get this to 10. Because what? They can install advance, advance. Because this is currently 9, 10, 11. So we might be in a bad spot. We'll find out. And we're still pressuring Claude from a couple ways. Eager press for 70. You can get through a 4 advanced firewall. Yeah, but it's going to cost a lot. Oh, yeah, it's not that bad. It's it's technically possible. Um, so I think these cards are dead. Actually, no, this one's useful. I will put it down. Okay, let's give this a shot. And now we have five clicks on our turn two, which is really good. Holy shit. Dang. Okay. So this is 11 strength. So we have to install two more programs. I think that's totally possible. So we don't want to trash that. We have don't have two MU slots. Oh, we ex have exactly two MU open. So we're fine. We got this. We can do this. Because this is 5 plus 6, which is 11. We break it for 2, which is really good. Um, and we just need 11 used MU. And we can install these two uh, for one click. And we're good. So we just don't want to spend that. So we'll take our clicks. We have to host one on here, which is probably not elegant. So we have we have the nuts. So we can go take it. The question is whether we want to egret this. <laughs> I don't think we want to egret this one specifically, because then it's it's difficult um, to get through this one once they start advancing it. We're definitely gonna run through this now. We might as well do it now. They're gonna be on ten credits, so it sucks because we'll lose our clicks. And then we can start hammering HQ. So this is free. Got it. Use Persephone's ability? No, it's not a sentry. It actually offers you every time? I did not know that. Take, oh wait, that's before. Okay, so this, uh, we could break for two and lose a click. Our click is worth more than two credits. Oh, actually, no. So we're gonna lose a click, it's fine. Our clicks are not worth two credits at this point. And we got that, so we're on the table. Uh, that's still scary, they have another Oaktown in hand. I think we just want to take money at this point. And we can start punishing their other eyes and start the eager trashing. So we need to keep our money up for sure. If they Hunter Seeker, they can't Hunter Seeker twice in one turn. Unless they like Biotic Double Hunter Seeker, which seems crazy. But this is going to be an issue. Luckily, we can always get through it as long as our money is high enough. So we're just going to keep the money. That's really good next turn if they don't force us to run. I like the double question mark on the Persephone prompt box. Does it actually have that? It's like confused what you're doing. So they're going for the next Oak to oh, Hollywood. Okay, so we got this one too. So strength 13. So we're out of MU, but we can definitely get in here, right? 
We can also pop this now because we're never going to deal with Persephone. Okay. So we definitely have to egret this. Which Oh, we don't have MU to egret this. That's awkward. I guess we'll trash something. You're using Persephone at some point. Oh, I see the double question mark. So this will be 13 strength, which means it is uh, some money to break. Technically possible. So this is now a code gate or a century. So we can break it for, uh, wow, 12, 13, 14. So let's keep drawing. And then we need two for that. Oh, thank you. Good draw there. So this is 14. Again, we like playing to hard any news, but they use both their Atlas tokens, so this server is never going to work out for them. I think we can just go now. We can also eager at this, but again, this server is way too expensive to be running it more than once. So let's go. Server 1. So we have to use Persephone. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. I don't think Persephone's ever been used that. It's a bit. It's a bit. And we can still threaten fast event, which is great. So we can't use Persephone's ability uh, twice there. We're going to spend two credits and lose a click. Still 10 strike on this Maven's pretty good. Persephone? And we're going to be on six points. So it's is they could punish us here. Again, this card doesn't matter. So we're just going to go ahead and broke at once. And another modded. Which technically is an Econ card, but it's playable. We can't use it because we didn't break a sentry. It has to pass a sentry that we, uh, we pass a sentry that for each subroutine. So we can't use it there because this is not a sentry. And we broke all the subroutines on the sentry, which is now a sentry. Yeah, that Maya, actually that two console is good. I made this one a sentry. Yeah, but Persephone says trash a card. Oh, the Hunter Seekering. Oh, thank God we have that. Um, it says when you pass a sentry for each subroutine that resolved. And it didn't resolve. Yeah, so you can't. That was dumb, so dumb. Oof. So they tried to Hunter Seeker us. That's their, their restricted card. But we were good. So I don't want to run. I think peace in our time is fine now because if they jam an agenda this remote, we don't have enough money to contest that we lose. So I think we're going to peace. And we're on game point, so the, the Hunter Seeker doesn't matter anymore. So we're okay. So I think we're just going to barely hold on. And we actually might have the exact amount of, uh, like, oh, yeah, one more MU would be sweet. We do need one more MU. So we have 21 credits. We're good. Should have killed the Astro to lose the MU. We can still uh, Sacrificial Construct it. But I think it's definitely better to trash the Leprechaun. If we trash this, we choose to trash the Sahasra. And now we start running HQ and see if we can egret some stuff. Because a lot of things we break for like two credits. This Persephone deck is sick. It hasn't done anything yet, but like this is the idea. Like late game, Maven's fine. But once we find, because yeah, once we find something that we can like really punish, we will punish the shit out of it. A oh, clawed in hand. That's honestly fine. That's okay. Because as long as they're programming a deck, which there might not be soon. So actually we have to levy this turn. Let's go HQ. Okay, so this is where it starts. We can start... Oh, but we don't have cards in stack, so we actually can't Persephone now. Interesting. Okay, well, they can gain a credit. There are seven face downs. Check it. Uh, we will soon. I think we'll do that before we levy. No, no, stop. It's not a sentry. Punitive. Okay, that's really good to know. So there's actually a chance there's a bunch of agendas in here, so they're trying to punitive us. No, there is nothing. Okay. So what do we do here? We can run the top of R&D, which is good. Uh, yeah, we might as well make them spend money. Hunter Seeker is the restricted card. Yeah. There's some cards that are two card subs that can't work if you don't have to pump. Um, two cards that are two credits per sub. That can work if you don't have to pump. Cheers for Hailstorm. <laughs> yeah. You have Leprechaun? What about Leprechaun? Oh, yeah, we have MU. 
yeah, we're fine. We're actually going to spend all of it here because I want to levy you last click, which is kind of expensive, but no, no. But then puts Clot back in our deck. Oh, GG. Okay, so Persephone's super good. We used it all the time. Um, man, that Hunter Seeker misplay. Eh, no, that wasn't too bad. And what was the last card? If, if this wasn't a program, they could actually fast advance out. Oh, we should have known it's the last Persephone, so we could have got that out. So once we're set up, which, mind you, this deck is a bit faster than some of the more like ice-dependent decks that you might be playing around in your casual meta or what have you. Um, so the idea is you put, like, you know, you put Egret on this, and then you can start doing where we trash three cards and they trash three cards. Uh, this is not the best example because all these have End the Run on it, but any ice that doesn't have End the Run, you can punish really difficultly. Keep trying to... Hey, cheers. Um... Oh, no way. That's great to hear. Peace in our time. <laughs> See you around, eh? It broke a firewall, which is pretty good. I think that's the best thing about Persephone, for sure. Two credits per century, sub routine doesn't matter that much. Um, but yeah, you can really punish things. We'll give this one another shot, because it's definitely interesting. And the board state looks absolutely fantastic once it's once it's come up. Um, if you're just tuning in, by the way, my name is Andre. Uh, how's it going? Um, we had a store championship last week, which means now we can play some goofy stuff. Because competitive season doesn't matter anymore. Uh, we'll give this another shot. We need to show it working. The point is this deck actually works surprisingly surprisingly well. Not top, tier one, but like, Persephone is fun. The kind of decks it's best against are like Byroids. Uh, Byroid decks is really good. Do multi Persephone's trigger? Yes, 100%. So if you have three Persephone's, Mad Dog, uh, let's do it. And uh, you run through like a data raven and you do a trace. You trash three cards, they trash three cards. If it has like three subroutines, like that's the best. Run through a mouse list, take a tag, to, uh, net damage, credit, something like that. You trash three, they trash nine. That's game winning. Seder. Okay. Well, this hand is not amazing. Any hand with leprechauns a good hand. Oh, we should have put Maya in the deck. God damn it. Not a big fan of Seder. Other people like it more than me, but maybe I'll eat my words. It's a really good start. We can do a piece in our time, double install Proco, uh, fan site, and we're off. I don't know why people play assembly lines and like you get very little value for that. The card is worth two credits. Yeah, we want Maya back in, Jim, but the stream delay um, betrayed us on that one. Totally forgot. Not a particularly high tempo turn. I don't want Gare of single access. We're a late game deck, so single access is not that great. So, oh, you have a lot more money now. Oh, we goofed that. And we're set up. That's a better setup than we could ever ask for. And we have a double install next turn. I don't know whether we want to rush out the multi-threader. Um, but at least that's a much better setup. Install advance, advance. Oh, domestic sleepers. Cool. Well, that got a fan site scored. Good for us. I don't know what that means. That may mean Jeeves. Uh, I guess there was that old deck. I never played a lot of it. The big boy deck that was running sleeper and all that. It had some like fun stuff. That also could mean team sponsorship and more asset spam because this one fires really well with that. Our turns are almost always going to be the same. Oh, that's really good. Which is going to be uh, draw, 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 double install. That's that's a much better setup. Yeah, we are definitely about to be spammed out here, which sucks because we're not very good against spam. And if they're playing this, it probably means spam, team sponsorship, all that shit. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, this deck is really bad against asset spam. <laughs> because it has no tools to deal with it. I guess we do have an Astrolabe, which is good for us. Alright, well... Oh, that's good. Oh, that's not good in our hand. Um, So we can throw out a Levy for sure. Say Arc Lock down, it's not the end of the world. Oh, that's a good double install once we need it, but let's get set up. We want to use these credits every turn. Uh, so we install that. And we have enough unused MU that we can go ahead and install this technically cost us more money than we want to spend but it'll be fine archer we're <laughs> tithonium surprise yeah this actually could be tithonium or archer maven luckily will be six like if we drop a maven right now it's six strength so like break archer for what like six technically four with multi-threader it's fine if we top deck of smc we're golden and that's probably oh they're just going for the agenda um so a couple things do rock us here rota turret be bad Oh, we, wow. Oh. Oh, boy. Got a lot of those, huh? 
Uh, if that's the 4-2 that installs their whole hand, we'll be a bit upset. Let's go once more. Oh, that's technically a bit too late. But at least we're going to get this scored. And uh, 3 modded is a bit unfortunate. Modded is not the fantastic if your cards are coming out through SMC, so I don't know if we want to do that. Uh, I think it's technically okay. If we draw our Astolite, we're going to be drawing a lot. This is really good because you have a chance when you're doing Persephone to mill your uh, your levies because you have the trash cards. I think the mod is technically the worst, the third modded. Yo, Honey T, what's up? Kamino is definitely the thing. You trash like 10 cards, they trash like 30. Okay. All right. Well, only on two points. Could have been so much worse. This also easily could be uh, our, uh, what's it, the Ronald 5, something like that. But uh, we're in a good spot now. We actually should have on that turn pulled out uh, on your turn. We're going to pull out the Astrolabe. I think that's right. Maybe I'm too aggressive with that. Anyways, stay at the Proco races. Oh, that's a perfect draw. So we can keep our money up and double install these too. They also could be playing, uh, I'm pretty sure the new Economic Warfare is really good in Seder. That's like a cool card to recur, I guess. Also, for what it's worth, you want to spread these things out. Just so if one Leprechaun gets trashed, you don't lose everything. Yeah, Modded's a bit dead right now. But you could see there's worse draws in which Modded is a lot better. Our Astrolabe might do work and get us Modded value. And now, like, again, we have, like, a billion strength ice. We can't break Turing, so as long as we run first click, Turing is fine. I think we want to go check this. I'm tempted to pull this out to get Beth, because Beth is really good. We also could use the SMC for anything else. Let's run this first click. Like, worst comes what? Like, what? We click through this and they get an assembly lines or a hedge fund. I don't care if they draw any of those cards. That's way worse than anything else. Heimdall won. Wow, that was expensive. Uh, yeah, we'll click through all of it. Really, I don't care if they draw any of those cards. It's worse for them than anything else. Wait, that's strength six? Hold on, thinking. Actually, actually, hold on. So if we pull this out, our maven will be one, two, three, four, five, six. And we break it for four? Oh, that's actually better. That's perfect. Then no, thank you. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's fine. Well, that's fine. And this is a really good one, right? Because we can break two subroutines, take the brain damage, get, you know, the fire. Oh, we take these two. Nice. Gila. Wow, that's a weird agenda. Are they playing exchange of information on us? Because that would make a lot of sense. And we still have our whole turn. Whole turn to go. If we drew, we could have double installed. That would have been cool, huh? And let's get this down so we don't get Hunter Seekered. I guess they could be Hunter Seekering. We could have also just Artist Colony. That's fine, Remy. That one's easier to keep. It's technically cheaper than SMC. That's for sure. So we could have saved two credits. That's definitely worth knowing. Um, I'm not the best. Sh I'm not an experienced Shaper player. Rover Algorithm. All right. Has one strength for each time we pass it. So our Maven is going to be taxed out eventually. How does that keep happening in every game we find actually get Maven get taxed out? That's really funny. All right, let's keep going. Let's. Oh, there she is. And we got a good double install this turn as well. That's a really good double install. So that's going to take three cards out of our hand. So we can draw all the way up to eight. Uh, technically, this is better. We don't need it right now. Gila Hands is weird. It makes me think if they're running zero and one point agendas, they're doing some exchange thing or team sponsorship where they don't have money. Because I don't know why you'd run this. Maybe they have a limited card pool, right? And they just have creation and control because they like HP. So we can draw once more. Okay, and check this efficiency. We're going to modded... Uh... Oh, we did that in the wrong order. Hold on. Check this efficiency out. We're going to install this. Uh... Oh, no. We have to do it in that order. Hold on. Ah, oh, shit. So we're going to take two credits. We're going to mod this out. I might have done the math wrong. So we're going to mod this out. Because we want to mod it. That's why it matters. And then we will take a click and install that. And we can't take the off of it. This deck looks like one Highlander deck I brought to GNK. Highlander as in like one of? On the corpse side? Because that'd be cool. I bet they're flooded. They might just be, because they don't have a lot of proactive plays, so they might just be flooded, like, based on how they're icing shit. 
Okay, so we can still get through this. It costs us only four credits, which is totally acceptable. Uh, and we're kind of set up. Like, we could take the brain damage to trash one for one. Trashing is not that good against Seder if you're going to click through things. Or, you know, if you're going to let them recur stuff, I guess. But uh, I guess we'll go check what this is. It's a pretty small cost to do so. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. They're going to have better ice to Egret than this one. Let's run server five. Take our money. Break, break, break. So only four credits. Another multi-threader will go really far if we're only running once a turn. Double question mark still is really funny. Don't you want to put the Mayas back in? 100% Vadim. We forgot about it. So it's a Ronald 5, so that's what we called it to be. It's a strong box. So if we trash that, they get to put one of these cards on top of their deck. Again, like, I don't care. Those cards aren't particularly good. I guess they could put the strong box back on. That's kind of obnoxious. I didn't think of that. I guess we already invested, right? Um, fire? So as long as we run last click, I guess we want to clear this last click. Uh, your ability. So they, we lost a click. Only about three or six people actually showed up with Highlander. Oh, that's lame. Well, this makes sense in this deck, and I think this is one of the better Seder cards. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet. I don't know why they put advanced assembly lines back on. Uh, but we'll go with it. We can get a double install here. Actually, technically we can't unless we use this SMC. Um, we could have a really big turn. And also, like, storing your hyperdrivers to do a mad Persephone turn is kind of comical. Uh, there's some value in that. We can trash that last click if we want to, which is probably really good. Should we have drawn first? Yeah, probably. It doesn't change much. Okay, that's good. So that's a really good double install. We have no MU, uh, so if we're going to do this, um, it's going to be tricky. Because we want to get this on here, and then we can't install this one. Unless we pop this for the other... Yeah, we're going to pop this self-modifying code. I guess we could just use this. Yeah, that's cheaper. Uh, Yeah, we should do that on the corpse turn then. So we're going to install two here. Oh man, like we have to really, really plan our turns really well, right? Because we want to double install on their turn, double install on our turn. But we're just tight on MB. If this was a Maya, it would be good. This hasn't mattered in this matchup. Yeah, we need to get another Leprechaun Vidim. But if I do that right now, I get a... Oh no, that's fine. That seems okay. Yeah, that's fine. Leprechaun. I guess using this might be better. I'm going to forfeit that. Uh, oh, we can't do that. We don't have enough MU. Oh, so we have to trash one of these. No, getting another Leprechaun is a huge mistake. I just we installed too many single things on it. Uh, yeah, so we have to trash something. So I guess we're trashing this. Uh, yeah, then we're going to install this on it. Don't feel that great about that. That's kind of clumsy. And on their turn, I guess we could double install if we want. I think we'll just mod it once. It doesn't look like they're fast advancing, but they might be. It looks like they're more scoring in a remote server. Uh, I think we just need to keep our money up. If we proco, we have to throw out a card, but like, oh, we don't want to throw that out. Then we lose Dark Lockdown really hard. Uh, well, we have this in hand, so as long as we don't take damage, this is fine. Put a lap on a lap. That's actually pretty good. Oh no, there's better things to do, because it's not 2MU. If it's two, we want our 2MU cards on Leprechaun, so we're going to keep those slots. Illegal play? Is it actually? I don't think it was. It was just kind of clumsy. So that's probably the assembly lines. We don't need to run that. They have way more money than I think they should have. What happened? So, using the credits and then trashing it? You can use the credits to install it and then trash it, I think? Otherwise, we were over one credit because we had one left on here. Can't use credits if you trash it. Okay, my bad. So, we should have one credit fewer. Uh, I don't think we need SMC aggressively. I think we want to run HQ here. I guess we want this to come out first. We have a double install, so that's good. Oh, this is, feels kind of clumsy. So 
So we can go HQ. Yeah, that's fine. So this is the kind of card, uh, eh, it's not that good. Well, we break it for free, which is cool. But we don't have our egrets yet. We'll find them. So we break for free, which is good. Single access a turn. They probably have agendas in here. We need to get our egrets up. Paper trail. There you go. Uh, we have connections. That actually matters. So we're on three points. That's really good. Um, we could go again, but that actually will cost us four credits. That's really good if they don't score next turn. Uh, that's a last per 70, which you can mod it out, which is really sweet. Oh, we have a huge turn this turn. I totally forgot. We did our double install, so I don't think we need to do anything else. I guess we can draw once more. Bath is fantastic. We don't get a double install this turn, but that's actually perfect. And I think we'll just click for a credit. We'll get card draw with her. Shaper's too hard. Yeah, it is kind of, huh? Oh, shit, it's an agenda. Well, we could have got that easily. So Vitruvius, they're on four points. So we got to watch out because they have that 5-3 that is defensive and we don't have the uh, the other one. So we can't play this. We have another double install here, which is pretty good. We have the MU for a two and then we have Egret and we can start smashing things. We're ready to smash. Let's smash. So install this. Uh, yeah, this. Host. Host. Take credits. Let's smash. Uh, now we can trash this Hasra, Remy, because it was, it was good till then. So now we can pull out an Egret and go to town, and we have a lot of clicks to do it with. So let's hope we trash a lot of things here. Okay, so let's Egret this one. Oh, we have to trash an installed card, though, if we Egret that, and that's not really tenable. We'll find something else to Egret. Don't worry. They must have more ice. They also might not be installing... It's kind of five with sleepers. No, Persephone's ability, no. Ravana. Okay, Ravana is not the best right now. Uh, we got to play control because running for four is kind of expensive. We did our double install this turn. We did our double install this turn. We can no longer install the hyperdriver unless we pop this and over install that, which I don't think we'll do. Um, we can just drop this down. I don't think there's any other resources we are gonna play, so we might as well just put that down, I guess. That also is really good, because you can run through, like, Rota Turret and anything that crashes. Or crashes programs and not have to deal with it. I think we'll just... We can draw once more with this. Probably should have done that first. Oh, there was the last Persephone, which is expensive. Okay. So we have the credit lead. We have our whole rig out. Just... We're fine. Oh, they only need two more points. Yeah, you're right. And we can threaten Clot. Technically, because there's still egrets in here. Alright, the algorithm is on. Uh, that's an expensive card, too. And click. For every encounter, plus one strength. Okay, so that's probably... Um, we don't know what that is. We have to go check it. I think we're going to trash Ronald 5 first, and then they can recur something. I don't care. And then we can run this. We'll see what this is. We can egret it. Worst comes to worst. We'll trash this. We can run this last click, but if this is trashable, like, we're just going to go in time. Yo, what's up, Mario? We walked into Persephone. Uh, Ronald 5 will trash that. They can recur something. That's fine. So Strongbox came back, so that's fine. So let's go deal with this before it's, like, something bad. We want to run to the click left for sure. Okay, that's a Ravana. So we can let the subroutines fire, which would be bad because they can do end the run. So we're just going to go ahead and break that. And we're going to start taking brain damage. To trash cards. Maven's doing some work. Yeah, strength 11 seems good. Okay, so now we are going to do our thing. So, how many subroutines do you want? We can let the brain down. That's not the best, right? It's six to break this. Ah, uh, thinking. Because, like, we could take a brain damage and trash three cards to make them trash three cards. That seems fine. I guess, no, actually, if we lose our levy, we're, we're fucked. So, let's not. Let's just spend all the money. Next turn, we can always piece. They'll probably jam a card in this remote. I think this is an assembly lines, which kind of is unfortunate. And we're going to need time to uh, levy. Yeah, it's an assembly lines. No surprise there. But we couldn't let it through, so we just have to keep our credits up. Uh, yeah, because we have to always have to be able to run this remote. 
No sentries just yet, but that's fine because we can always pull out our our our, um, our friend. Uh, what's it called? Egret. So anything becomes a sentry. Like we can start running this as many times as we want. Trash an install card, make the mill three. That's really good, right? Like we can trash the Hasara, trash the top three cards of the deck. They have to trash three cards. We can do that like a couple times. Like we can trash the artist colonies. Uh, ah, fuck. We have to keep doing this over and over again. Okay, well, there's a strong box on top of that. Okay. We can just click through this one. Whatever. Like, that's the thing. Is they recur any of these cards? Do I care? No. It makes their game plan worse. Yo, what's up, Joseph? Hey, from YouTube. How's it going? Um, yeah, let's go. Because eventually this is going to be out of strength that we have to click through this one. We'll run. There's also only two cards in HQ, so if they recur card, but they take a gamble, nah, I don't care. Yeah, that's fine. We'll click through this one. This will break for two. Ronald 5 comes on back on top, whatever. Like, they're recurring. The cards that they're recurring aren't particularly good. Like, they're recurring hard hitting news, I'd be worried. And per 70 so far in this game, we've done nothing. But, uh, we're holding on here. If they pulled back a Ronald 5 also, like, they. Yeah, it's on top of RD. So, running RD is bad too, but that's not a surprise. So, that's a sleeper, it's fine. That's a strong box. We'll get rid of that. They didn't even res it, which is good. And next turn, they'll probably jam the round of five. We could check HQ to make sure that they're honest. It's only first time a turn, so we, in theory, want to do that now. Uh, we could pull an eager, but then we have to break this for two credits to trash three. We trashed the, the round of five, which is good. I think we have to start trashing things, right? I'm so confused. I leave for a little bit and come back to this. Things are going okay. This is also fuel for our fan site, or our artist colony, which is really good. Like, that's unfortunate that they gave that to us, I guess. Um, hmm. We could trash the SMC to install this for free to get more to clicks. I think that's fine. And that's good enough. Okay. So they drew a Ronald 5. So if they jam something in a remote, we don't have to draw. Okay, they drew once more. So it's all about the Vitruviuses. Like, there's two more Vitruviuses in the deck. If they jam that in the remote, I don't know. Paper tripping. Haven't seen that one fire off. No, yeah. I haven't seen this fire off su successfully, but I've put it in decks before. Okay, so there's a chance this is a run of five. There's a chance this is an agenda. This is still streak nine, which is fine. We're going to go ahead and take our clicks here. If we paper piece in our time, we could lose. But I think we need this to be able to set up properly. And then just start milling. Um, we haven't seen a restricted card yet. Nothing feels a colony yards like a bunch of robots that might murder you in your sleep. It's uh, something to write about for sure. I think we can actually just like straight levy at this point to get our econ back. They're playing aggressively around uh, Bath Killer and Chang, huh? So seven clicks. Again, yeah, if that's the Vitruvius we lose, they can't Biotic it out, so I... Oh, they could Biotic out if we pieced, but that's probably bad. Uh, Joseph's probably Fairchild 3. I wouldn't be surprised if it is Fairchild 3, but they don't have enough money for that to be good. Like, any deck that runs Gila Hands, I don't know. Is there a new Seer, Nasir tech coming up? I haven't seen anything? Okay, let's go for it. Let's peace. Whatever, it's fine. So we're going to live the dream and install the next Persephone. We kind of need our credits. This puts us down to... Oh, it's not that bad. We're not double installing, but there's not anything in our deck anymore that we want to double install. Levy into Sure Gamble. Perfect. Uh, oh, and 50 cards left in the stack. It's kind of rough. Okay, we could have, we maybe lose here. Who knows? And I think we're going to start trashing things. The, actually, this is a good card because it's something we can trash to uh, to let this subroutine fire. Okay, jamming to the remote. Okay, now we have to run that remote. Now we do. And they advanced it twice. 
So we have to go first click, basically. Ugh. Can we do it? I think we can. They need three credits to res that strong boxes, another three credits, which is six, which means they can't really spend anything on ice. It could be another domestic sleepers or a three one. Regardless, we have to charge it. We want to do that first click. If this is like a troll or something, whatever, it'd be fine. They really want to spend clicks on Byroids. They would probably pump the strength of the levels we had to click through. And at that point, like, oh, it's Heinlein. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Trash one program, we can prevent that. Oh, this is a sentry. This is, they fucked up. <laughs> I think they fucked up. Trash all virtual resources. Oh man, they're going to mill a lot of cards because of this. They did not consider this. And we just can't click through anything. Um, holy shit. It's happening. <laughs> We're going to mill 20 cards. No, 12 cards. And our double sacons are going to do it. Oh man, they should not have res that. Uh, prevent the trashing of Leprechaun, yes. Enforcer hits modded, fine. Oh, it's happening. Uh, prevent the trashing asteroid. Yes, thank you. All virtual resources don't have any. Okay, so then continue. Yes. How many subroutines to resolve? Four. Uh, wait, more Persephone's. Oh, you can't. Here. Uh, Persephone isn't coded properly. Isn't coded properly. I need to jack out and rerun. Wait, yeah. Oh man, the dream's happening! Oh shit. Four. Jack out. <laughs> That's actually like the best case scenario I think of any ice, besides like Komainu. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that happened. Okay, so we just milled uh, a lot of cards. We milled 12. And the subroutines did not matter. And we can still get through everything. Um, did we not just do that? Wait, how many times did that fire? Is this the third time? This is one too many times, right? Yeah, we jacked out one too many. Yeah, 12 cards, right? Yeah, that was not a good res. Okay, so this we will break. Because if we click through, we lose all our money, which is... Our, Probably obviously not ideal. So that's what the combo is, right? These two together. And again, this is really good too because if you lose all your money, you can't steal, um, what's it called? Gotta click that three times. You can't steal uh, the 5 3. What? Why run it? You can deck him because this fires and then they trashes our Persephone's. We can't. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, Akawa, Joe, that's the name. Remy, why are you running, yelling in chat? Oh, we can't keep firing this, okay? Because of trash, you can win by just milling stuff. Remy, we can't, because the subroutines fire on this trash from program, they trash the Persephone's. We can't prevent it. You yelling, you're using too much chat, my friend. Too much, uh, what's it called? Okay, it's, oh, wait. Oh, fuck, we hit them in the wrong order. We have to trash Heinlein first. Because we're going to lose all our money. I clicked on that on the wrong order. You always trash this first. Because otherwise we're going to lose all, all our money. Oh, fucking hell. Are you serious? You access this first. We knew that was an Akawa. Oops. That's fine. This is fine. Uh, we probably still went on archives. Okay, let's just say we did it right. Don't be lame. You fucked up to pay the price. Don't be lame. Okay, okay. Are they messed up with multiple enforcers? I don't know. Defcon says we fucked it up. You should have lose your console. No, we pre we prevented the console loss, man. With a thing. You don't need Sasura. I don't want to spell. It. It's their choice though. It's trash one program. I think we went on archives anyways. We should have accessed it. We knew that was Nakawa. That's just kind of a misclick. And, uh, GG. We can only steal one, though. <laughs> GG.
The funny thing though is because we lost a click on that run, they can put a thing back on the deck. But we milled three, six, seven, eight points. Oh boy! After making his day, he uses no offense. Get out. Okay, well we lived the dream. <laughs> That's a first seventy dream, and like we haven't shown it off with Egret, but there's actually like a fair selection of ice. So NBN has a lot of it that you can Egret their ice and make them sentries if they're not sentries, and then let some of the subroutines fire. But that's the dream. Um, yeah, we could have ran this back and forth and just broke some of the subroutines. Like we could always just let the virtual resources fire and trash three for three. Uh, we can always just take the brain damage and trash three for three, and that's actually a win condition. But if we didn't get this agenda, we would have lost. So we had to go through. Oh, get out. Oh, that's not what I mean, Pasty. I mean, get out, like, get out. Um, yeah, we could have broke the two relevant subs, but we needed the agenda regardless, and we milled a lot. Like, 12 cards, you'll do it. Oh, it's fine, Dave, able to get the influence in Seder. Yeah, that's actually a really cool part about rotation, is that it's, like, the influence is really, uh, I find it a lot harder to use, um, for sure. I'm still expecting some Anarch sub thing that will add sub style, Street Magic, Persephone. Yeah, maybe. Um, you're seeing things, like, I think they just printed a card in the newest data pack that is, like, prevent the first subroutine from firing or something like that. So, like, technically, street magic value. Uh, and there's a criminal card, that too. But, uh, oh, I guess they don't entirely work together. But Kongomato, right? It says, like, uh, break the first subroutine. So, in theory, st street magic has some more value today more than ever. Get out. I mean, get out, like, you know, get out. I think, I, I hope Pessy's in chat or something, because that was shitty. <laughs> I find uh, nothing else with the click last trap. Break first, trash this card. There's also a chance we trashed another agenda and they put it on top of their deck when we stole the Kawas. I don't know. But man, we should have thought, yeah, that, that um, Enforcer is technically an, a strong piece of ice. And if they're running the ones and zeros, that makes a lot of sense. If you're just tuning in, my name is Andre. Uh, this is the Metropol Grid. How's it going? So we got, uh, we got a fork in the road here. That's a Persephone deck. We didn't see the eager part of it, but you can understand how it works. It's actually kind of cool. The Mayas were definitely better. I, it, it's only three credits, right? And we, Astrolabe never really helped us out. And 2MU is like so good. Um, so uh, for the rest of this evening, we have maybe an hour and a half left in us. Uh, how is everyone doing? Firstly, thanks for dropping by. Really appreciate it. What a shitty streamer. Jesus, Remy. Jesus. Um, we got some options. Uh, there's a new bot we have. We have like a Slack for a Montreal Netrunner, and this bot, you can talk to it. And it has a command that says like Jank Corp and Jank Runner, and it prints you out like a really bad deck of random cards. And I, I don't know if it's every card or if it's just um, like specifically unplayed cards, cards that aren't played that much. There's a chance um, that's either way. Also, shout out this bot is, I think, originally built by Ben Terrell. Who you might know, Dodge Pong, and we uh, we got our own version here. I think it's open source. Um, that's one of the options we could do. We could build like a jank deck, jank corp or jank runner. We could like give us five shots, and then we could vote on our best choice. Um, that's technically an option. Compulsive hacker, Ma, Mad Dash, first responders. That's actually like a fine deck. Um, that's one of the options. Otherwise, decks I've been working on. Uh, I put together l yesterday. I haven't tried. It's a low deck with GPI Net Tap, uh, Zamba, and Amakua. And it seems pretty, pretty uh, slow, but good when it's up. And that's what I'm sitting on right now. Time to jump shit to the chatter chat, which is here. What's up, Romeo? Um, make a first responder deck. It's only getting better, right? So Dart and Twitch says that we jank deck sounds fun. Are we in on that? Is that what we want to do? We want to build. We have to build it really quickly, right? Because we don't have that much time, but we can definitely do it. We can build something dumb. Defcon saying jank corp. I think Jank Corp is fine. We've done only runner today, so we'll do Jank Corp, I guess. Pheromones Gabe. Oh, yeah, shit. We wanted to do that first. We really did want to do that. Yo, uh, can you throw... Needs <laughs> the supplier. Uh, Johnny, can you throw the list up? I don't want to open Facebook on the middle of the stream. Can you throw it up in chat? And I can click on it and we can rebuild it really quick. So Johnny's been working on this Pheromones Gabe deck, and it seems like a lot of fun, and it uses credit kiting. Uh, and it's credit kiting seems really strong with fem and fem is really good to get in we'll do the jank deck soon enough i want to build a low exposed deck but it seems like a nightmare in jnet it might be exposed is pretty slow jank is the way pheromones gave with a bit of nonsense that finally wowed a friend i was teaching yeah pheromones game is really fun it's like super aggro and that's that's always really exciting um yeah let's let's build that one i like gabe gabe is not a corp so maybe we me we misadvertised this uh pheromones I don't, don't ask spell pheromones. 
Okay, thanks. Thank you. Pheromones. I don't think it's this simple. There's no way it's that simple. Oh, it is that simple. Oh, shit. It has three pheromones in it? Okay. Uh, let's do this. Okay, hold on. Perfume, Gabe. Yeah, I suppose it's a perfume. Okay, wait, chat's gonna go fast on this one, so we gotta get everything in here. Credit kiting is not in there, so we're gonna use uh, modded, I guess. And then we'll go over influence, so whatever, it's fine. Axe <laughs> by Gabe. Um, we need three emergency shutdown. Ah, oh, shit. Here, one second. I need to stop chat from moving. Um, dirty laundry. Sorry, this is really good radio. Um, emergency shutdown. Three fisk. Three, a uh, high stakes. That's a fun card. Uh, information sifting. Interesting. Let's get against Fisk. Inside job two, scavenge. No way. One scavenge. Yeah. Oh yeah, we talked about that. Scavenge. S special order two, I think. It's hard to tell where the numbers are associated to it. Hold on one sec. One sec. One sec. One sec. Three sure gamble. HQ interface one. A uh, polyhistor. Oh yeah, right. Card draws hard, huh? A uh, bagot, which is like four influence, so you really need to draw it. Maxwell James. If you're running HQ, might as well derez something. Uh, same old thing. Three of these. I'm not sold on the same old thing. Three of. And this is where things get weird. Is you can start to play weird breakers once you have all that money from credit kiting. So we got three fems. We have Ankuza. We have Inversificator, which are all very expensive breakers. And I think I already put pheromones in. Nope. Uh, and sneak door. Okay, so we're over influence, but that's because we spent six extra on modded. So otherwise, this is good. Let me catch up on chat. Use easy mark. Yeah, we'll just use easy mark. Actually, that's pretty good, Vadim. That'll make the deck legal from a distance. And it's also zero to play, which is good. You just gotta remember to take a tag. So if you don't know, credit cutting is a new card. Um, that says, uh, play only if you made a successful run on a central server this turn, install a card from your hand, reduce the cost by eight, take a tag. And that's really strong when you install Fems for one, um, when you install Ankuza for free and Versificator for free. You do have to clear the tag in a lot of cases. I don't think actually, we have security testing that we want to protect. Um, so that one's kind of important, but, uh, it's, it's good. Who's Mark and how do we know he's easy? Ah, oh, easy, Mark. Uh, there's a dude in our meta called Mark. Uh, he hasn't, I don't think he's placed Neverland anymore, but, uh, I kept saying easy mark over and again. I think he got fed up at some point. 39 games tonight. That's really good. I think that's the new pack that just came out today. People are excited to use it as much as it isn't implemented yet. But, uh, the people here that, that do this thing, they're very quick. The cards will come soon for sure. It's all fan for one, except you spend a click, two credits to remove a tag, another click to make a run. That being said, Vadim, we want to run HQ anyways. So we gain two credits from running HQ, which we're gonna do regardless. Maybe we get two credits, four credits from security testing. Uh, it's not bad. If we dirty laundry, this, this deck has two. You get like three credits install for eight, remove the tag, like it, it's good. Uh, it's not bad at all. Hey, hey. I don't know if you're in chat on stream, but that get out was in, incredulous get out just waiting for a reset I uh, ace so okay apparently a lot of the cards oh <laughs> my god uh, well, a lot of the cards are already implemented Pesty does a lot of the implementation as far as I understand so they just need to reset the servers which I think they do at not in peak hours so people don't get their own other games yeah a lot of the games you can flow tags but I think if we need security testing we won't but we could. Citadel Sanctuary Vadim in YouTube chat. Yeah, it is much better with that, but I don't know if we need it. And Citadel Sanctuary is actually cool. I think it's in some ways uh, just a strictly better version of, uh, especially against Gabe, it might be a strictly better version than um, Crash Space. Cause you also do remove the tags for free, but it's clickless a lot of the times. A lot of corpse don't have the money to pay for it. And it also does prevent me damage. So it does, does basically everything Crash Space does from the core and revised core set, but is kind of more click. Compression, which is really good. Get out. Um, hopefully someone joins. I want to run credit cutting Nexus and Citadel. That's the idea, right? 
That's a really good combo package too, Bromero, right? Because you can install your Citadel for free and you already have the, the, the Citadel. Uh, sorry, your Nexus for free and you already have the Citadel, which is really good. I think that's good. Can I sell you a Crash Vase? Hey, hey. So let's see how this goes. We want to be aggressive as possible. I don't think we have a good matchup against uh, net damage. Luckily, this is this. Oh, that's going to suck a bunch. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Thanks, you too. So this is the infusion uh, of ag infusion, perhaps. But, uh, oh, it's not good. It's not good. We have no ass attack. Uh, we are going to go HQ and D-Res things. So good luck us. Oh, shit. Big fan of channel. Ah, cheers. Hey. That's very kind. Okay. All right. So uh, we die to this one, right? Are they paying the new 5-3? Oh, by the way, I have a proxy. We can maybe float tags, though. Nexus credit card instead though really would benefit from DLR. Yeah, totally. Uh, DLR? Oh, it's legal in like a month. I think they're rotating it in, you know? People miss DLR, so they wanted to put it back. Don't blame them. Click for credit. So they're going to throw a two. That's a really good start. We can always run it. Oh, and force curfew. Fine. We'll find an agenda. It's fine. So money cards are good. Uh, sneak doors probably doesn't matter. They can protect archives anyway. So let's go HQ for credits, run R&D. We just want to turn this off. We'll hit a snare here. Crick, good to know. Future perfect, okay. All right. So that's good for us. Got it. Uh, last click, we could run, hit something that gives us a tag. The current is off, which is really good. And we already have three points. If we hit an Obakata here, we can't steal it, which sucks. Uh, urban Renewal, uh, go ahead and get rid of that, I guess, because that'll kill us. So they are on Wayland I, uh, IG, or, uh, which runs three Urban Renewal, generally one uh, baseball bat. I'm salty because I watched Code Marvelous credit cutting Lustig into play thinking he got massive value. Yeah, that's like, what, three to install or something? So th this is probably the Crick. Likely the Crick. I think a lot of these decks run not enough ice. They run like six pieces of ice. So that's the Crick. That's something else. If we draw a credit kiting, we're fine because we can fem it. They don't have a lot of ice, so fem gets a lot of value. This deck has three fems. <laughs> uh, dirty Laundry. Yeah, we might as well get the value here. I want to run early in the turn. Cortex Lock. Okay. Well, that's an obnoxious. They have a lot of ice relatively soon, which is kind of rare. And we have an Eater, though. Eater's actually really good in this matchup, because if they res this ice, sure, we're going to have to break it for five credits, but we can flip the cards over without accessing it. I regret being in this game. IG. Okay, no idea what that is. Extra trash cost is going to be two, and we can't afford to trash things, so we're just going to die on R&D. I don't think we need to check what it is. It's fine at credit kiting. Oh, that's fine, too. It's fine at credit kiting. Oh. That's a really bad card in this matchup. That's an incredibly bad card in this matchup. Making them draw is like the worst thing because they throw all the things up. Genotyping is a recursion card. That sucks. Uh, installing anything is really bad. Their ice isn't very expensive, so we're not going to get a lot of value from shutdown. Neither this because they're going to ice HQ worse than archives in a lot of cases. So I think we just click for credit. We can always panic and use this if we need to like get a lot of cards in hand to, like I don't know, deal with something. It's technically click compression. But, uh, yeah. Uh, we do have Inversificator, which is cool, because we can move Crick onto a different server. That's fun, huh? And Sneaker Baby actually might be worth it just because of the... Uh, because of Cortex Lock, because it uses up all your MU. But this is not going to be a fun game, if you're just tuning in. What's up? So Genotyping took Urban Renewal on three face-down cards. There's still one face-down card there now, which is good. And that's the Cortex Lock, which we can't really face-check into, and we don't want to make them draw. So we can find out what this is. Could be Kumainu. Sorry, mate, lol, all of the matches. Yeah, this is not great. Not too good. That's fine. We have the Ankuza. That's good if they're running uh, Kakugo. A lot of them don't anymore. It's also, like, a billion credits. Uh, if this is a... Uh, Psychic Field, that's really bad. I think we will play this and click for a credit. And now technically we can face check. And we break things for not that much, hopefully. <sighs> There's very little we're doing in this matchup that I don't have that much smart to say. They installed before drawing. 
which is bad. So that's kind of a cool thing going for us. I think we're going to inside job HQ at some point. Maybe their money is so low that keeping the emergency shut down has value. We're going to inside job as soon as we have credit kiting, and we're just going to float the tag. We'll do inside job credit kiting install on fem on this slime HQ. Actually, femming the crick is also pretty cute. So at some point, they're going to have enough bioethics that we have to be worried. Pheromones. I don't know how much value we're going to get out of that. But God, that actually makes them stronger. Why did we decide this deck? Uh, oh boy. Oh boy, that's not good. So we're going to click for two credits to throw these two cards out. So that's something. Now, luckily, they don't have a lot of money. So I think they have three Breaker Bay Grids, three Hostile Infrastructure. So if they want to get those up without the Breaker Bay Grids, it's going to be pretty expensive. Oh, Mooshin. Oh, we're playing a real game here. Does that mean Ronin? I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run that. There's a chance we run that and then they res like, the thing that makes us not be able to draw. Oh, if we lose all our breakers, we're, we're screwed. But we got to we gotta access this stuff. Oh, this also could be like the 3-1. Uh, the, the asset, that's an agenda point. Yo, what's up, Nucleosynth? Decks that runners don't like playing against are my favorite corp decks. Yeah, tell me about it. It's a Ronin. Die. Just keep your money up. Super important. We trashed the thing so they could do 4 meat damage if they have the, ha the baseball bat in hand. The wake-up call. We don't want Slime HQ just yet. Pheromones is the name of the deck. Yeah, I think that's the reason why I have to install it. But we have, I think, two more. So don't you worry. This deck also probably wants Amakua. Because you're going to run HQ a lot. Okay, so they have the hostile infrastructure. Oh, no, it's an over-install. So that's probably a trap that's failed. A lot of times these decks dump their agendas in there. Four cards in hand. Oh, that's good. Uh, no. Interesting. That's a good card. Uh, that's fine, right? We just need more money to do it. So, we are pretty sure this one here is a Cortex Lock. This is like the biggest gamble. This needs to be the Cortex Lock. Oh, you need a hardware resource. Touche. You can't just hit programs with the baseball bat. That makes sense. Ronan did not rotate. It hit the core set again. So if this is a Cortex Lock, we break for three and we can't access. If they don't res it, we can't access. It's Cortex Lock. We called it perfectly. We have just enough credits. We thought it was that, and we were right. And so we basically gain three credits. It's a dirty laundry. Is that... That was just a dirty laundry? That sucked. It was three credits in a run? Oh, four hand size. Fuck me. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, Eater does... Like, Eater's still going to be good. And the thing is, like... Actually, I don't know. Does Eater and Amakua work together anymore? I forget. It looks like they built their hostile server, which it's going to still be expensive. We can run HQ. Cortex Lock doesn't punish us. Uh, we want to run now before anything, because if that's a Ronin sucks, we'll run HQ. We can't access, but they have to res this. We're going to lose slowly because we're not dealing with any of this stuff. And eventually they have a board state that just wins. So, whatever. Just want this one to be over. We only need two more agendas. They're thinking about their reses, which is fun. If they go to zero credits, we can run this. Oh, man. We got money. We got value. Let's top deck a credit kiting. Let's go. Oh, it's a Wampoa. Fantastic. Great. Fantastic. It's on the bottom of their deck and they'll never shuffle. It's like it's out of the game. Um, I might respectively concede. We might respectfully concede this one. We have no way to win. Yeah, we have no way. Their agendas are going to be on the bottom of the deck. We can't trash this. We're not going to win the economy war on assets. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, it's not good. It's not your fault for running showing off, right? Right? I'm a cool only cares about getting to the access step. Yeah, so I don't know if that works. Hey, no, no big deal. Thanks for the game. Yeah, we're going to lose that eventually. This is a problem. If they didn't have this, and some decks don't have that, we can maybe win off HQ pressure, but like they're going to bury all their agendas. And I guess this is a shuffle effect, but we have no way to shuffle their deck, so... Uh... 
Andre, can I fight you? I guess so. Do you mean like play a game or like physically fight? Because I'm a bit adverse to that. Wait, do you, and number of players ask if it's okay to concede before they do so? Uh, Canadians do, as Defcon said. I, I think it's nice. Hey, what's up? How's it going, Professor? Sweet glasses. Thank you. Uh, my eyes have been goofed up for the last week or so, so I gotta wear these. Um, they're broken. You can tell they sit crooked on my face. They're also like really old, um, but they're held together by like a pin here. It's not good. Okay, that way you can give the Jank Corp and all Gabe Pheromones. A Jank Corp we have to build, Johnny, and then it'll get wrecked by Gabe Pheromones because it won't be a good deck and your pressure will crush us. So I'm going to have to respectfully decline that one. <laughs> Should have told him to get out. Let's just give this another shot. I want to do this once more. If we got a good matchup on this, we might be able to build a Jank Corp. We still have a bit of time. We'll be good. Oh, nice. We'll do it. I'm still convincing a friend to play, but played IG once and was done for a bit. Yeah, you shouldn't do that to a new player. It, like, removes the basic rules of of Netrunner where, like, accessing an ice, and it's, like, an entirely different game. It's it's super difficult to have someone pivot. Okay, uh, this is also a really bad matchup in retrospect because I guess we do have program redundancy. I'm used to magic players scooping and going. Some people do that. I don't think it's nice. We'll mulligan that. Thanks. Okay, so if they ever hit one of our programs, they'll get removed from game, and that's an issue because we don't have any, like, tech to this. Our deck is not teched. It's good against, like, people playing Honest Netrunner, but a lot of decks don't. It's not impossible. We can definitely win this one. I think we slam into this. They have to pay, like, usually three or four credits to keep us out. Ice Wall, I guess, is, like, the worst-case scenario in theory. Oh, hearts him. Fine. Now, they can advance that, which makes it awkward. Uh, we want to get our accesses early before we install things, because then we lose those things. So, I don't want to dirty laundry. Yeah, that's what we need to do. So, we'll go dirty laundry here. I guess they could raise a nice wall to bean us our credits, or to remove our credits. I don't know if bean's a verb. Mother Goddess, that's an issue. Uh, we do have Femme. Maybe actually not that big of an issue. Oh, that's really good. Just heads up. I have one proxy for a new card. I actually have not played myself, but that I thought it would be somewhat fair. Under messy how toxic was. What are you talking about exactly? IG? Just give Honey first. <laughs> honey Farms back. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. They might go for the hostile here. That means that this card here could easily be an archer, Tithonium. Either of those, we don't care. Bad Pub will go far away if we need to get HQ. Oh, it's a standoff. Oh, that's even better. But that means definitely this deck generally runs three archers. And uh, we're good. So, we'll run R&D. It's a pretty bad res for Archer Tithonium, but we just have to learn to respect it. And we have that double combo here, which is really good. Also, they res an Archer, we get into HQ, Emergency Shutdown. Perfect. So, they're thinking about this one. If they want to res the Archer for two credits... Oh, it's a Roto Turret. Cool. That's a combo. So, we could wait. We could drop down our... Uh, our sneak door run, so basically costs two credits and we get a single axis. They mulliganed? No, they kept, so they probably don't have another agenda in hand, but I think in theory we want to do like Fisk, sneak door, and uh, this all in the same turn. So I think we're going to hold on. It's a shame that we can't do, uh, you know, sneak door with information sifting. Maybe that's better as another HQI. I don't know. Pheromones will be good eventually. I think we... I don't know if we install it. We have another two more in our deck. That's fine. Pheromone, sorry, I'll short. We tried it again. Yeah, they've already raised the code gate, so we're not worried about Mother Goddess. And that is going to be the seven credits they need. Oh, wow, another standoff. Fantastic. And that actually floods their hand, right? Like, they have to discard a card here. The problem is if we Fisk, though, the chance of them blocking the Sneaker Beta is even higher. So I think we're going to drop this and go. Hopefully the Hunter Seeker this. But we need to get our accesses in. And the best defense, fine. Archive Memories, okay, that's fine. Let's go again. We haven't seen any Tag Punishment yet. Arc Lockdown, good to know. So that's two influence. Um, so they protect a bit more against Anarchs, which is really good. But when our breakers are out of the game, they're out of the game. I guess we do have scavenge. So not entirely true. But we didn't see any ice, which is really good. 
This, by the way, is the sort of deck I played on Sunday. Um, it didn't lose games. I did, It didn't lose a game, no. It was really good. Okay, so worst case is a road turret, which removes our sneak door from the game. No matter what, we want to make them spend credits. If it's an ice wall. Oh, it's an archer. Fantastic. Glad. So now we can go through here. We are going to lose our sneak door beta probably from the game, but we can now shut this down, I guess. And then we have a security testing server. Okay, so they paid two credits. That's fine. It's better than that on a remote server, so we're still okay. And we have a special order, which we can grab uh, to get into here. Pheromones is looking good right now. And they removed that from the game. Generally doesn't matter, but I guess it's good that they've done. Uh, and we can also, once they have not enough credits, we can just keep shutting down the Hortum over and over again. The only problem is our breaker now, and it's really hard to play credit cutting now that they've iced up everything. Uh, it's actually going to be kind of difficult. Shut down Hortum, run Hortum, keep them poor. It's going to be hard, especially when they have like this agenda they're going to score right now. There's the hostile. We have the bad pub. Running is easier. We haven't seen a shutdown just yet, or what's it called? Uh... Hunter Seeker. So, like, that's the problem. It's like, unless we, if we do Eater, I guess Eater will, yeah, Eater's fine. The thing is, they can triple advance this, and then Eater looks dumb. So, I don't want to do it. I only want to Eater if we have something in our hands to, ins oh, that, well, that makes it easier. Something in our hands to, uh, we got to throw something out. So, I guess, yeah, this is fine. Uh, something in our hands to, uh, oh, actually, we could have ran that time. One, two, three, four, three credits. Um, no, it's fine. So we can always run this, hope they res it, like resin archer, resin tithonium, run HQ, shut it down. So now we have shutdown on the play. We spend three credits to get in here with bad pub, and we get two credits back. So it's a one credit to run HQ, which is really not bad. And I think we can float the tag. And they drew last click, which is not a good thing you should be doing. You should be drawn earlier. So we can do run, shutdown, run. Uh, that will make them go down to four credits. I think we want to keep the shutdowns for the remote servers, also for the archers. So I don't think it's best to shut this down. We also don't want to fisk. That's our Ankusa, which is actually really good. If we can return to Tithonium, it's going to be really expensive, but it's something. Uh, okay. Well, now we don't have a lot of options. We need credit kiting, so we haven't drawn one. If we draw a credit kiting here, we're good. We did. Oh, wow, that's really good. That's really good. We're going to lose this, which sucks. And it's not that valuable right now. That road turn makes me miss Persephone. Well, those are ones that you have to break, actually. Persephone is not that great on it. So we have that whole play set up. This is good for Fem. We actually want to probably want to pull a Fem. And then we can keep a Fem, and then we can charge the remote server. Yeah, we'll pull a Fem. Four. And we'll throw these two out, which are hard to use. We can also fem this and keep going. We don't want to fem just blindly. Like we want to fem intelligently once they like jam in Oak Town in the remote server. The thing is, if they like, we need to keep enough money that if we hit an archer, we don't lose our eater. Yeah, there you go. So this is going to be difficult. So we're assuming one of these is the Mother Goddess. Which is fine, because we can get through it with Femme for five credits. Um, so if this is a... If we get totally blown out if this is a, a, an archer here. And they have three archer, two more archers in a deck. A Tithonium would be bad too, thinking. And we want to get this agenda, because it puts us on game point. Because they generally do run at least one three-pointer. And that's not food if they're running Hunter Seeker, right? So we need to run HQ first click no matter what. Install this for free, take a tag. Puts us on zero. And we just need to pick the right ice. Like, that's the challenging part. I'm assuming they're playing around inside job, right? These ice came out on the same turn. So I think we want to do the first one, the innermost one, and hope this isn't an archer. If they're playing intelligently, the archer should be behind, so you don't lose the inside job. Install for $1. Oh, thank you. That's really good to know. I guess we could have clicked for a credit first. It's difficult. We have to make a gamble here. Oh, we would have got the dollar. Oh, no, we wouldn't have.
This is why bad pub is really good. So we could install this for one. Click for a credit and go, which is not very good. No, this is a bad turn. We should not have done this. Yeah, easy mark. Also, how's it going, DJ? Um, that is a credit kiting. So that's the problem is we just don't have enough money. We just l don't have enough money. Because if we had more money, we can check with Eater. And this deck doesn't have enough money. Like, the fact we really need Pheromone's going to have money. Because all our money in this deck is Sure Gamble and Security Testing. And I think that's it. And then two of those cards that require Unresed Ice, which give you six credits. We need six credits, too. Fem Hortum and just Pressure. Yeah, that's probably actually the best here. It's a shame, though, because as soon as we hit an agenda, we lose the Fem. Oh, we already gained our two credits for running it. It's two to break this as opposed to three with Eater. Like, it's... I guess we get Axes, right? Double Axes. But we have no more multi axis. <sighs> no, that sucks. It's not good. Let's make them spend money. So, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Click, tag, fem, innermost. So this is terrible if that's an archer. Oof. We can't even shut it down this turn. Yo, what's up, kayak? Eater seems okay. Yeah, we're having problems getting our economy up. Hopefully there is a mother goddess that ends the run. Hopefully don't res an archer and we lose the game. If we lose both of these to archer, we lose the game. We can break roto turret. Okay. Uh, so that we actually can't break. It is simply too much money. Okay. So at least we know we can get into that server currently. That should scare them. Okay, so they're only on three points. They want to overinstall on this one for sure. So we didn't get a lot of fem value. Uh, we need to find money. That's technically money. We have to click for three. We have no choice. Ugh, at least they don't have a lot of credits. Like that's something. But they're going to overinstall over the fem ice. Luckily, fem gets us through most of their scary end of runs. Like besides Tetonium, which is probably only a one or two up in the deck. I think Arch is just strictly better. Because it doesn't get broken by four for four credits. And just about anything in the server has to be an agenda, right? Oh, it could be a Marcus Batty, actually. Yeah, we're kind of screwed against Marcus Batty. That might also be an issue, too. Who knows? Let's go. Scavenge, no good. Oh, Pheromone's actually value. Okay, so they trashed over it. Okay, so that's bad for us. At least we got money. They could score an Atlas here, putting them on five points, which is scary because they have Audacity. Uh, but I don't think we really have a chance in this matchup. I don't know. We're playing too fair. Oh, fuck. It is an Atlas. Okay, they're on three credits. Okay, I guess we got to just start slamming R&D for one credit. Uh, we can also now punish here. Like, we can run HQ, shut this down. Yeah, let's take do what we can. So run HQ. One, two. So they went low on credits, which spirals out of control. Retarget Fem? Oh, they didn't remove Fem. Oh, yeah, we can retarget. No, but if we trash Fem, they can remove it from the game. I'll show it. We can't. Unless they RFG that. They might RFG the shutdown. What did I say have on Archives? Oh, thank God. They RFG'd it. So now we could retarget this. So that's really good. Uh, of course, they think we're helping them. We were not helping them. Best defense, arc lockdown, nothing learned. Luckily, they'll probably let us do it next time, but we can always like scavenge a fem on here. We'll wait. We'll make that be our secret. Because I think we'll shut down next turn for sure as well. It's got the baddie. Fuck yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay. Oh, man. But Ankuza, they have no barriers. So they're going to res this. That's for sure. I guess we can draw once for a kiting. Oh, that's actually good. I wish we drew once last turn. So with two credits, they can still 
Audacity. They might not res here, right? Like, if they have no agendas, they don't res. I guess it gives us two credits, but, like, it really doesn't matter. Yo, Elos, how's it going? That was a fem chance. I think they'll let us fem chance again with a shutdown. We also should have ran R&D, I think. Oh, thank God. Arc lockdown, IPO. Okay, maybe they just want to IPO next turn, credit credit IPO. We still haven't been, uh, what's it called? You know, lockdown yet. Let's find the graft. Graft's off the top. Let's go. Hedge fund. Ah, shit. <laughs> it's not good. How many cards in archives? What happened? How did that happen? They could safely throw cards out of archives behind an archer, I'm pretty sure. We can always go here and spend eight just to flip them. Or actually, yeah, eight. Yeah. Seems bad. Oh, boy. Oh, we could shut down the archer and run archives. That's a good play. There might be agendas in there. I don't know what else they would throw out. When do they throw those out? Like, I did not pay enough attention. But I think we might need the shutdowns. Okay, there, there's their money turn. Okay, I think we might get them here. Unless that's a baddie. So we know two cards in hand. There's one card we don't know. They still have another stand. They do. And they could re-res it, but like... That's fine. It means there won't be another archer on this remote as easily. Oh, they're thinking. They're thinking good. That means there's an agenda in there or a baddie. Otherwise, they wouldn't think. Rezzing the Horton. So we'll pay one. And hopefully they'll R RFG this. So do we are over? I will shut this one down. We can shut down the archer. Okay, they removed it. Thank God. Okay, so what do we do? We can shut down the Mother Goddess, which is a card that we can technically break for five. We can also shut this down. I don't think we ever care about the Mother Goddess. I think we care about this or this. And this is just an economic problem. We'll shut down the archer because then Sneak Door is good. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Last click, let's go. I don't think they have it yet. Chat's saying Archer. I like you, chat. That's good. Yeah, retarget fan with Archer, 100%. Oh, this Archer. This one, no, it's fine. We can technically always fem through it if we need to. So we'll break this for four with the bad pub. I think there's an agenda in here. If it's a baddie, they just lose the baddie because they res nothing of value. Oh my god, yes! We're on four. Find the graph, let's go! Hunter Seeker that fam, you know you wanna. They must have like have to rip it off the top because I think they have an agenda in their hand and then two cards like the uh, the lockdown and the other one. Fisking would be really bad. Oh, it's gonna be a close one. We just get the graft off top of R and D G G right. That's all we need. Oh boy. Oh, okay, there it is. We lost the fem. Nothing ventured. Uh, nothing gained. And the IPO. Okay. So two, we know the two cards left in R&D, so I don't know why they had to res that. I guess they wanted to rob us of credit or something like that. So we have enough money that we could run archives. We don't want to fist because then they'll draw their agenda and just jam it. We need an answer to that. If we run archives, we have to break the end to run subroutines, um, which is going to cost us them not an agenda, it's a pseudo agenda, and it'll cost us uh, four, five, six, five with bad pub. I think we should draw first to find our one sure gamble. Or actually, credit kiting would be good. Oh, that's something. Hold on. Regular draw. Okay, so if we do this, it'll put us on two credits, three credits with bad pub. Uh, to break Archer fully and get a successful run, which this requires. It's basically a free Archer run, right? It costs us four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven with bad pub. So it basically gives us one credit. <laughs> and we need to have six plus seven, which is a lot more money than we have. Oh, that's that's worth knowing. Let's just get money now. Let's just get money. We're fine. The only problem is we need five credits to deal with this thing. So we're going to need a lot of money, which we don't have. 
The pheromones actually been really good. Because we need to be able to run HQ cheaply. By archives, you, you don't get access to with Eater. It's true, but they have to res their archer. It's good if we have credit kiting. We get to see what these cards are, which is really good. Oh, actually, running R&D was a totally valid play. Uh, as soon as they draw into the uh, Audacity, by the way, we're also screwed, so we can't play this. Um, cool thing now, though, is we can high-stakes job this server. Uh, right? As long as we think this costs more than five to break, which soon it will. The only problem is, like, what? We pay... Some amount here, we pay two here, we gain six back, so this is like clicking for four. We don't want to fist, because if we give them the last atlas, I guess they need one last atlas, and the audacity, we're screwed. Like, I don't, we can't fist, there's no way. Oh, that's, that's something. <laughs> that's, that's a, that's a turn. We got that going for us. So this is no longer safe. I think we just take credits. Fem, horse them, and go. No, we need fem for the remote. Because if we fem this, they just drop a card in here and we lose. Like, it can, any agenda in here, we lose. We need the fem for the remote. That's the only thing about our deck with redundancy is the fems. Also, this hasn't proven good yet, but it might. We also could have run R&D, but we want to... I don't know. Okay, so we play this. We have seven credits to break all of this stuff, which means it's two for this. We don't get an axis, though. So this has to cost four or less, otherwise it's a waste of our time. That sucks. That really sucks. Uh, this is credit cutting, but for those who are just tuning in... Ah, oh, shit. What do we do here? This card's not good enough. It's like a bad, dirty laundry. Instead of giving three, give six. Is that that good? It's good if they can't res, but like we can't... Get them to do that. We need a count siphon back. This card needs a count siphon. With real breakers, it's better. I guess we'll run this eventually. There's no way the sneak door is good. Because I'll res the archer. Let's get rid of the sneak door. We're holding on. I get audacity out for the win here. And there's only one more straight econ card we could draw. So, like, Fisking to find the gambles, it's 1 in 24. Or 3 in 24, technically, I guess. Because we get 3 card draws. They're looking for it. Okay. Is that the last Atlas? Okay. Okay. That's not GG, but uh, we're going to feel okay about this one. So this is going to cost us one. This is going to cost us five. So that's, so far, six credits. Yeah, we're fine. Wait, we have dirty laundry in this bad boy, right? Yeah. So we have a 1 in 8 chance of drawing Dirty Laundry. Oh, no, less than that. 1 in 12. HQ costs you a dollar. Yeah, we have to go HQ. So this is $1. This is $2. So it puts us on 11. Yeah, we we definitely get this agenda. So we can draw once for Dirty Laundry. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, uh, fuck. We can also give him a credit. Yeah, they can take a credit. So this is actually free. Them having 13 or having 12 really is not going to matter. Unless they have Biotic, which then it would matter. So that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Tag. Click. Install. Cure. Let's go. Yeah, poor little Ankuza. Ankuza's not great against this deck. They have Ice Walls, right? And if they trash it, we're done. Let's go. Fem number 2. We're in. And now running R&D is technically better. Unless it's an archer and we're going to look dumb. Oh, it's just a hostile. God damn it. We're going to lose our next fem. Oh, we wanted them to score that. Yeah, we get hunters. Oh, there you go, GG. They had it. Ah, oh, they found it. There's generally two audacity. Uh, One more atlas in the deck. And they had not that many cards left. Agendas in archives. Oh, ah, okay. Clean. So nothing in archives. So that, that was the one card we lost to. They had to draw that. Basically the one in like 14 and they found it. I think they have two audacity. Uh, so everything else is still in the deck. So we got a bit unlucky there. Still going to be like really hard. 
uh, to win that, but it was technically possible. I think we just don't have enough money. The pheromones helps a lot because eventually we're actually gaining credits by running HQ, and we never drew a security testing as much as we were tagged. Also, the yeah, drawing at Maxwell James would have been a really, 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 really big deal, but we didn't find it. But that would have been good too. Mm, yeah. It's hard for me to get honest accesses. My breaker is too expensive to not kite out. So that's currently a problem with single this deck is like if you don't get your cards in the right order, it's really bad. Um, because it's, like, it's very difficult to install Fem for 9, let alone this for 6, considering our econ's not good. And it's only possible with credit kiting, which means you need to get the program, you need to get credit kiting, you need to make a central run, which generally needs a program, and it's way too much exp too expensive. Uh, just that one HQI. Yeah, we also have multi-access, I guess, and a Bagat. It sort of counts. So you're saying you should just install pheromones while playing the deck in pheromones? There's a chance of that. <laughs> it might have helped. I think Amaku would also would help, as much as it sucks that Pheromones and Amaku are both viruses, so you get the value purge. You're always reticent to Fisk. Cut it. Um, Fisk is really good. It's just bad in fast events and, and uh, what's it called? Spam decks. Um, which is probably a lot of the, <laughs> a lot of everyone. Thanks for the game. Let's give this one another shot. Uh, which is probably a lot of the, the decks out there, for sure. Like, that's probably most of them. But if you do get, like... There's a really good games where you get and you shut them down over and over again, and then like Fisk is really good because they're drawing garbage and they throw it out. But uh, in that matchup, it did not work out for us. Um, so yeah, I think we should make some changes. I found draw was rough. Yeah, draw is rough. I guess that's why you need the Fisk. Yeah, let's make some quick changes. Zero percent win rate, huh? Okay. There's no way we need three same old things. It's a way too slow tempo. I think. Uh, sifting's hard to play. I think, yeah, I think we would just want, like, a bunch of turtles. Just a bunch of turtles. F. I actually think, like, easy marks would be fine in the deck. As long as you had good enough card draw. Which I don't think we do. I also don't like this card. Because unless your run is of value, you're not getting much out of this. And with Amaku, it's good, I guess, because the runs are cheaper. But, like, you're generally paying four for a piece of ice with Eater. Which means this is, like... I don't know. Boop. Let's just try that. Yo, what's up, Net Jogging? How's it going? Turtles, pheromones, Akaya, all the jank. Akasia. I forget how to say that that word. I looked it up. Um, it's probably too much influence. Uh, right around. Let's give us another shot. How'd your SC go? It went really well. Uh, 17 players came first in Swiss, came first in the store championship. We took it home. Uh, played Val and Scorp. Did really well. Had a really good game against Remy. Uh, second round, it was really good. Scorp is scary. Scorp is really scary. Annex are not doing well. Good, I'm doing well. Okay. All right, this is probably uh, a more reasonable matchup because they're probably playing Honest Tricks. What's up with Polyhistory? So it's technically free card draw, and if the Corp doesn't have any money, it's bad for them. Now the thing is corps have money because we can't actually affect their money that much. This is the sort of deck that wants three same old things and three account siphons, which obviously doesn't exist yet. And once that happens, this archetype is probably becomes like consistently playable. And Paulin's store is really cool, right? If they don't have credits, you force them to draw cards. And that's bad for them because they can't play their cards. This is an easy mulligan. Oh, that's a really bad hand. So we're gonna face check and dice on HQ <laughs> for sure. And they iced up archives, so they know sneak door is a thing. Let's go. How bad could this be? Could be pretty bad. IP block, not that bad. So we're going to basically access for one. Once we get our poly store down, access for two. It's free. Yeah, John Massonori needs a trash baddie. Thank you. I'll, I will. Yes, thank you. Uh, let's get our accesses while we can because it's hard to do that. Snare. Good. Pay all your money. I don't think you should fire that. You fired that. I can't believe you fired that. Uh, we'll keep the tag. I hope that's not a problem. Uh, now nothing kills us, but we can't steal Obakata. But Future Perfect is a free score. So we'll go for the Axes. It's another snare. Good. And nothing kills us here, right? DNA track. Okay, cool. So they have no money. We'll force them to draw over draw two. Like, they have nothing to do here but click for three. Congrats. What list did you play? So I played the Seamus Val deck, which I practiced blindfolded. It was the deck I practiced the most in the upcoming week. So it's pretty good. 
it runs uh, Employee Strike. Um, it was a deck of the week two weeks ago. And then I ran a Scorpio deck. All Scorpio decks are largely the same. It was like two... Uh, it was also very close to Seamus' Scorpio deck. I went on Arc Lockdown that day, something I don't normally do. Draw some cards. So the tag actually makes this difficult. That's the only bad thing about the tag. Sneak door would be really sweet here. Man, nothing works out here. Yeah, it's a good time to fisk when they have no money. Another DNA tracker. That's no good for them. Draw. And we really don't have the credits to do anything. Okay, well, we'll get this down next turn. And then this will cancel that out, hopefully. Ah, oh, celebrity gift. God damn it. Okay. We're going to keep fisking them, I guess. So we have to remove the tag. DNA tracker, DNA tracker, IP block, IPO, Opa Goddess. So they're not going to have very little money. So it looks like that Fisk was really bad. That was really bad for them. So that's a DNA tracker likely, which is fine. And they have an IP block, so we want them to spend the money. Uh, most of these cards suck anyways, besides the pheromones. So I'm going to install the pheromones, run R&D. We don't die to much. Because if they spend eight... They can't afford Snare. There's no way they res this. They do. Wow. Great. Okay. Uh, fire. None of these cards are that good. Besides this one. We'll keep this one, though. Oh, you fire. You fire. Polyhistoric, easy. HQ interface. Yo, did we talk about this or what? And then we're going to lose it to single damage somewhere. Marcus Batty cannot trash that. That's a bit unfortunate. So let's not die to IP block. Again, when they have four credits, it's easier to do that, but we need a, it's way too risky at this point in time. We're in a really bad spot. What's up, Unode? How's it going? Thanks for dropping by. I don't think we can win this matchup. Their ice is good, and we have no money. Did we misplay this? I don't know. I don't even know if we misplayed it. I don't think that snare hurt that bad. I guess the best we could do is like try and... Inside job is server at some point. That's another DNA. Uh, oh, yeah, we didn't say this is credit counting. Oh, sorry. It's, oh, I forgot we draw and give them money. Oh, pardon me. You're so good. Always keep you going. Keep. You always call what you're going to keep. Just call all of it. Uh, I do have one proxy for credit counting. Just heads up. What's the third card? Uh, this one? That's the new special order from the revised core set, Kayak. How many turns in are you? Are you already concerned about having lost it? Uh, yeah, because we have no board state, we have no credits to tag, and it's turn four. So it's not great. Uh, easy mark. So, um, best we can do is like click for three, run through this, but we have to clear the tag first. We already drew once, might as well draw again. Uh, we'll just click for three, it's fine. Or click for two, excuse me. Yeah, Easy Mark lost the androgynous person on it and got instead of a drone. That logo on the top seems very familiar, but I don't know if I've seen it before. I wonder what it's for. And they have 14 credits. So now they can actually spend money on this. Uh, we want to run that once we have something to install for cheap. Dirty Laundry is probably not going to fire for a long time. Um, I can't combo those together. This is the kind of card that's good with a new pterodactyl, huh? Maybe we need tracker in this deck. I don't think that's correct. Oh, we can always, like, in special order for a breaker. Okay, well. Stealing the Opakata would be okay. Inside job HQ, we only want to do that once we uh, have the credit cutting. We also want to draw once, though, because if we hit the Opakata, we have to steal it. We have no chance if we don't steal them in central servers, because on the remotes, it's going to be very difficult. This is the sort of deck that runs the like, data loop. I guess we can fem it. Ooh, green level. Honest Glacier deck. So that's the baddie. There's another Ice Age Q. Oh, this is bad. Not good. What is this? Is it a crick? I don't know. It could be anything. There's really no bad ice. There's no good ice for us to be here. There's nothing. We didn't charge pheromones soon enough. Oh, we are so done. How do we crawl out of this? We just have to like install our breakers and play like Ankuza, DNA Tracker, all that diversificator stuff. Okay, we got a fem. That's something. Just get pheromone counters and refunded with Gabe. 100%. So now we have the inside job this, uh, easy mark this. The thing is though, we have to clear the tag. I 
think we need to get rid of the dirty laundry. There's no way we're going to get value out of that. All the servers cost way too much for this to be a cool temple card. Oh, cool. It's not the baddie. So, so far, we've seen two out of 15 influence. Actually, four out of 15 influence. Well, that's one influence card. Never mind. Three. Should have known that. And we know they have a baddie in hand, an obakata. And I think that's it. We lost our one multi-access card. Oh, boy. It's a good thing we're not running Gamakua, though, because of the IP block. There's the baddie. There he is. Um, always inside job it. Seems bad. Oh, that's good. Could be a baddie. Could be a Chrysium Grid. Seems like the no-nonsense deck that would run a Chrysium Grid. I don't know. That scares me as a person. And we need more money than for them if we want to trace through this, which is going to be difficult because our hand is, like, perfect. So we're just going to take four. Welcome to good Netrunner. Eater is AI. Yeah, that might be an issue. I guess we'll just take tags, though, and just break all the subroutines anyways. Or only in one of them, right? Because we don't care about the tag. Like, I don't think they can punish us. We don't have resources. They have 20 credits. Luckily, we shut this down. It looks good on paper. Let's go. Inside R&D kite. Uh, I think we want an inside job HQ. Because either they res this and we trace... The thing is, like, I don't know what to put the fem on. Because this server is going to be bullshit. Can't get through all of it. They don't have enough money, though, to res most of this stuff. We have no R&D multi-access. I think we have to put fem on HQ. Just to get this going. Hmm. Hmm. So this is the turn that they probably install Advanced Advanced Agenda, considering their Maryland just finished perfectly. You can still like trash the Maryland yourself and it will shuffle. So I don't think you need to like, in theory, rush for all the value. But against Gabe, you want to go nice and slow. How bad is it if they score an Obakata at this point? Not that bad. This is kind of the turn I think you'd want to consider Fisking. So we can inside job this. Uh, there's definitely one of these cards does net damage, which means the Obakata is unstealable, let alone like we need the cards in hand. So I think we're going to just put the Fem on HQ. Not this one, though. Let's go. They might not res this because they need credits for this server and the baddie game, which is at least two credits. So they might just let us get through and pay two for two in single access. So we hit a snare. It's going to be really bad for us. They have one more. Even like a, what's it called? There you go. That works out. Uh, the single um, meat damage. Oh, fast track. Okay, cool. So we die to snare unless we draw. Credit kiting. Click. One, two, three, four, five. Tag. Oh, now with the tag. Oh, that sucks. That's really bad. Oh, pheromones. <laughs> Not unique, huh? Because we can't trace through this anymore. We can't. So they can just trash this ice. We want them to res it. I think femming a, res a face down ice is a huge mistake. Because it's so easy for them to slap another DNA tracker on HQ and then we look super stupid. I think that was definitely a misplay. Yeah, that's not good. There's no way that was a good play. Or at least they're going to go for the Obakata and we don't get hard punished. So we'll draw one so we don't die the snare. Oh, it's a Nisei. Oh, they still have the, the big one in hand. Oh, well, not anymore. Other Femme. That's good to know. So we'll run HQ. They probably don't res this unless it's like a one subroutine ice. Ow, it could be a Mirage. -u. That'd be fine for us. Trace. Oh, okay, another credit kiting in hand would be great. So we can spend uh, three on this, take a credit from that. So we spend two to get two. We get a nice single access here. Can't steal an Obakata if it's in hand. Fast track, saw that before. So now we run here for free. That's part of the dream, right? And we have another, oh, okay, we have something going on here. We have something here. The tag is annoying for IP block. And we just need to draw all our shutdowns and get free card draw or something. It'll be fine. That is a problem because they'll be on a lot of points. If that is the next Anise, which it looks, okay, it might not be. Uh, we are, like, just so goofed. We are so in such a bad spot. Draw. 
Oh, well, that's something. That's that's okay. So in credit cutting the fem out. So now we're clicking for two credits. Isn't that value town? Um, what better to fem than a res DNA? Yeah, right. Oh, hey, we actually got an agenda. Wow, that worked out. So we can shut this down. That's not particularly good. I guess it slows them down, but it's not like we can run this anytime soon. We want to basically, I think, fem this because the remote server is going to be really bad for us. Uh, shutting this down seems dumb. We can credit kiting fem this, but then we don't have four credits to run this. So that's pretty bad too. And I think we saw a second DNA tracker. So we're pretty confident that there's a DNA tracker here somewhere. And that's an issue. Okay, because we have to run the server twice to get through the Nisei. So I think they got this one. Oh, there's some value in that next turn. We can also special order for Inversificator. That seems pretty good. Why no Earthrise uh, career fair? Um, because we're going tag me technically. I think we want to do drug dealer, but I think Earthrise would be good. But this is meant to be a much more aggressive deck. I don't think it pans out without econ economic denial. Special order. Don't know exactly why I clicked that. But we have Inversificator, which is cool, because I guess we can move the DNA tracker off of a thing. I don't think we should play special order here. Another fan would be pretty funny. No, let's not do that. Do you just throw it out? Oh, we throw this out. Dream is real, Rony. You should get in Kuza. Why? To bounce an IP block? It causes nothing to break? I don't know about that, man. Then it gives them an ice to overinstall over their fem target. I don't know if there's value in that. Oh, shit. You see, we're so screwed because they have the Obakot in hand. They just jam it into server one now. They have it. It's in there. But look at this value, you know? You see, it's in there. It's hanging out in there. And we have to, yeah, we, we lose in two turns. So we got to fend this and win off of R&D. Let's go. We have to because there's no way we get through there. We have to run there three times. It's going to be bad. Exclusive party? I really don't like that card. It's too much of your deck. Shipment from Tenant. Oh, it's good. We're running, huh? So we're going to go do the easy mark. So get a click. One, two, three, four, five. A tag. We're going to put Fem on here. I guess we want to theory draw once. What a rig, eh? What a oh what the f no I didn't want to do that. DD sounds good. What's DD? Drug dealer. Yeah, drug dealer sounds good. But we also are struggling with credits. Sater adaptive barrier. Okay, that's good to know. That's a good one that you want to include. So this turn they're going to advance, advance. It's so hard for us to win off of R and D. We'd have to be like incredibly fortunate. And we know the value of running HQ is not great. I think we know two cards in there. We know the server has a baddie, uh, f the f thing that needs four net damage, and they have two Nisei tokens. Like, that's so terrible. Unless they somehow threw it out, which I don't know why they would do that. Oh, there you go. Back up and running. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why they're not just going for it. They should just go for it. So either of these could be the Seder, which means we'd want a special order for Ankuza, but to break the Seder, which would be like strength four, it's like a billion credits, let alone to install it. If we had a way to install during a run like a SMC, you can actually use your pheromones, which would be like relatively sweet, but we can't. Um, that gives them credits. Oh, we just gave them credits anyways. Oh, hey, it's you. We're running out of MU though. We have run out of MU. Make them spend money. Hit us with a DNA tracker. Let's go. Res your end the run. There you go. Good for you. Hit us with some net damage. Let's go. You have another Seder? Be nuts. Oh. Well, that sucks. That's pretty bad. So we can either trash one of these. I'm going to trash one of these. We need the MU anyways, and we're not going to install this. It's too expensive. Pay two, and we take a brain damage. Which, if that hits this, I think we're out of the game. Oh, fucking hell. Are you serious? 
Don't worry, we'll win off the top. <laughs> Holy shit, that's bad. That's our restricted card. Wanted that one. Yikes. Hedge fund. Okay. Okay. It's good. Good for them. Okay. All right. How do we win? Well, it's not through this. <laughs> that one doesn't help us. Okay. Um, that was a one in six. We're holding on. We're not. I think that's a, that has to be the Obakata in there, right? It's all advanced advance. Like, I don't know why they wouldn't have done that by now. Yeah, there you go. So we have to run that server three times this turn. Oh, it's a Philotic. Where's the Obakata? Is it in archives? So we can click through this and take a brain damage. We lost the inside job, which is arguably the best card we had in hand. All the snipes. Yeah, quite. We can't install this without trashing our pheromones, but I think that's a safe bet. I think we have to just install this and then hope this costs four to break and this isn't the other one. Yeah, let's go. We're so boned. We just have to do like all the risky plays. There's no way this pans out for us. We die to DNA tracker. I think we just die here. We should have drawn once. We can't even steal an a Philotic. I mean, Obacado. We should have definitely drawn twice. There's a chance we're dead. Information kiting is so good with security next to your uh, credit kiting. Oh, it's Komainu. Fine. Unless this is a Hokusai. Oh, we can break this, actually. Oh, baddie. Fine. Let's do one net damage. It's fine. Any Anything that kills us with two kills us with three. So the baddie doesn't matter. It's a free run. Celebrity gift. Okay. Uh, two cards in here. I think one of them is Obakad. If we draw, we give them credits. We're still holding on here. That's surprising. Oh, that's actually kind of good. It makes this really expensive. Isn't the fan with no token strictly worse than pheromones? Oh, yeah. I didn't realize that we lost the fan without a token. Oh, shit, yeah. Jim, terrible. Very bad. And keeping the pheromones has some value because we can we can trash things. It looks like a jam agenda. We knew they had a fast track, so... Uh, yeah, that's gonna be an issue. Okay, and they had a brain trust, which makes sense because they're on fast advance. So we know there's an Obakata in archives if it's not an HQ. Um, uh, we could run through here. Trash, trash. Pick a brain. Pay three. Thinking. The only way we win is by getting two agendas off the top of our R&D in a row. Which means we have to run R&D four times because they can just use the Nisei tokens. I don't think it's possible to win. Right? Because two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need to do that. Oh, there's everything. Because uh, we have to run this three times. It's impossible to win. Which femme is this? There's no way to tell. Huh. Okay. It was that femme. Uh, brain me. Yeah, that's good game. Oh, they brained us twice. Oops. Yeah, wrong one, but... That's the idea. Can't tell which one is which. So they should end the run here. I guess it doesn't matter. They can give us one access. Hey, Andre. Interested in a Highlander game? I don't exactly know what that means. It's a one of deck. That seems like it might be fun, might be frustrating, but right now I don't have the time. I'd have to build the deck and everything. Yeah, there's an Issei. So that's a good game. Unless, can't sneak door anymore. Uh, might as well run this. They're going to res a satyr. Oh, vanilla. Good game. Oh, that was brutal. Oh, it's a shit show. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Um, I've been playing a lot of neutral only decks, and they're been a lot of fun so we got wrecked so i think it's like this deck archetype definitely needs a count siphon 
Because we can't keep them down. We really can't. There's no way to keep them down. Thanks, you too. Uh, yeah, it's like impossible to keep, keep them down. I think this like credit kiting into fem thing is just way too many combo cards. And the card draw is not particularly fantastic. Uh, like we just don't have enough card draw cards in our deck. Like we only have three Fisks and then we have to draw for everything. Ah, oh, cheers. Glad you dig it. So I'm not convinced. It's interesting, right? Yeah, hold that to six pack, huh? Um, yo, what ransom? You missed technically everything. Ciao. Uh, it's 1136. I think we have time for like one more fast game. So we're just gonna grab whatever deck is like really quick. Uh, 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 so what do we want to do here? It has to be something that we've built that's gonna be fast. Um, are there any like really simple new cards that we could like slot into something? Like, can we just grab a deck that we have and just like jam RNG key into it? Oh, it's not like implemented. That one's actually gonna be pretty hard to implement. What are we doing? Um, we gotta do something. We could ask the spam. That's not really fun. We gotta figure out something. This is too long. I guess we could just play max. Just like good stuff, max. It's technically like a good game, right? Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, I'll do that. Jam economic warfare into something. Uh, that deck has to be jammed into something appropriate. Otherwise, I don't think it's that good for a card slot. You need like a deck that works around it. And I think it's easy to leverage that. I've been actually loving Nero or Avar. Yo, Coca Cola, what's up? Okay, they know what's good. We have two Turbo Birds? How did that happen? Okay, CI, that's good. We are on uh, Strike. We don't know what kind of CI this is. We don't have meat damage tech, so we're weak to some of them. Best of luck. I'm not actually sure how easy it is to keep, uh, what's it called, stuck down. Uh, to keep, uh, like, in, to have Employee Strike be that good. Like, I don't know how easy, how many currents people are running or anything like that. I don't have enough CI. I peep block hurts you a lot. It wasn't that bad. Okay, so we have no current in hand. We do have an I've had worse and actually pretty good economy to start up. But, um, it's okay. Is this a Seamus list? Uh, maybe. All right, so they're going for the value there. We got to figure out what kind of deck this is. If this deck only runs, uh, you know, the, what's it called? Oh, that's, this is value. We have all our breakers in hand, which is a bit clumsy. But if this is only running Mythic, it's really bad for us. Hedge Fund at the top tells us nothing, and we are going to respect Stinson here. We got to get rid of these cards from hand. Krim needs a new John Mancinori, too. They 100% do. I hope something is printed uh, that does that. I think actually face checking HQ is not that bad right there. Like, you want to run HQ first click, and now they're going to probably ice up R&D. I don't know. But they have a lot of hand cards in hand. They don't have a lot of money, so making them res. And if we find out this is a Mother Goddess, it entirely changes our game plan. So let's go HQ. Like, if it's a Fairchild, we click through it. We have Bed Pub. Ah, oh, we're fucked. I guess we have Fem. So this is not gonna be a good one. Oh, hey, what's up? What's up? Um, so we just have to win on strike. Yo, you see how I do that? That's a cool thing I can do. So none of these breakers matter. Uh, we just keep the employee strike down, recur that. I think we don't have any same old things. Uh oh, they just did something. Oh, it's just that. Oh, they played a current. What a terrible mistake. We just need to get our fem money up. Drawing into another strike actually really matters. Oh, archive memories. Okay, well. You want to fight that fight? So we have two more in our deck. I don't think we have any uh, recursion. Let's check real quick. Excuse me. Yeah, we have one same old thing. Okay, so we have like three cards that we can top deck. That'd be really good. Oh, what's up? Holy shit, we're good. Damn. Damn. Uh, let's fight it. D plus. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, nuts. Ah, oh, dang. This is the one Netrunner became, right? This is the CI matchup. Let's trade carrots. We're just top decking over and over again. Yeah, fucking hell. Okay, so now we have two out of 38 that are good draws. Yeah, we, this is gonna be a problem. We have no meat damage protection. Oh, that's good. Yeah, let's do that.
shipping for Kaguya. Okay, well, they have one combo piece. Retrieval run is good for Fem if we overinstall trash and reposition it. I think we just Fem this thing and go nuts because we break it for free. And then they need to put another ice in front of it, which they definitely have by now. But if they have another ice there, R&D is open. So we should have probably been more aggressive with that one. I don't think it's Lister and Brian Stinson, the one that is Mother Goddess. I might be mistaken. Did we die already? Are we already dead? We might just be dead. We need that strike to stick. If that strike stuck, we'd be in such a good spot. So this is probably an Excalibur. Probably. This is uh, the Jeeves, which I think actually we might want to trash. Yeah, it keeps him off for one turn, I think. I think it buys us a turn. We have Bad Pup anyways. Uh, we might as well Omar, so they spend money resing stuff. Their combo is not that big. So this is that, right? So this just ends the run, which is totally acceptable. That they spend money on it and a card. Because now R&D is probably open. Like, worst comes to worst that this is, uh, like, what, Excalibur? Yeah, not even. So it's one of these two. Punitive. Okay. Yeah, it was totally Jeeves. And I think you need to... It, Jeeves buys, like, it lets them combo out a lot easier. Okay, well, now we have to just get lucky because they have everything now. They have 17 cards left in our... They're, they're going to combo us. Doesn't matter how many cards we have in hand as long as they have enough money. So, like, you need a tech slot for this. And this deck doesn't have it. And we didn't get enough card draw. Like, we drew all our breakers. If we draw Inject, I've had worse. We would have just slammed them. Add another Jeeves. Okay, well. Let's just go HQ as much as we can. Punitive. Ah, oh, really? The one card that we saw? Give us a big one. Contract Killer. That's technically worth it. That means that they need their actual other agenda, which they probably have by now. I think we die right now. Shipment, yeah, we got nothing. Yeah, that's probably GG. Why not Kim? Because Kim's not particularly that great. Because we still need to get accesses. This makes them spread out their ice so they can't just put Loki and Mother Goddess in front of HQ and we're fucked. Kim doesn't do that. We have Retrieval Run, which then we die to Punitive. So we need to over-install this and Retrieval Run HQ. That's our play. Which is pretty funny. I don't, can't believe they haven't comboed yet. Yo, what's up, Zach? Hey, Andre. Why are all six data packs on Netrunner DB? Uh, they are all are on Netrunner DB, but they don't have all the cards for them. Like, it, this only shows 6 of 25 to 26 of 20. Kampala Accident was spoiled, Zach. Uh, somebody got the pack early. I don't know what this is, but I think this means we if we steal this, we die to punitive. So we don't steal it. Because they brain rewiring us, and then they just punitive us, because we don't have more credits than them. We can't run this, because then this turns off. So if this is a mother goddess, I don't think they'll res it. We just need more money. And uh, the thing doesn't matter. Uh, what's it called? The current doesn't matter, because they can score this agenda. Audacity. Okay, so they have another combo card. We need money. This is not going to give us money because all our breakers are in hand. Ugh. Oh, well, it got us money. Yeah, that's GG. Eating several turns doesn't matter. Making them throw out, like if they had to throw out, you know, 11 cards here, we win. Yeah, they totally have the combo. There's no way that they don't. Unless they goof it up. But if they goof it up... Oh, if they can CI7. You don't have the CI7. CI needs to die in a terrible industrial accident. Yeah. Oh, you 100% have it. Yeah, so we're just going to wait for this to fire. So a lot of people think this deck is the best deck right now in competitive Netrunner. Uh, in our meta, this didn't show up too much, so I don't know if that's the case. It's actually really hard to deal with. Don't have brain rewiring. Oh. Well. So, all three brain wirings in the bottom 14. So, they have to actually score seven points out, which is a lot harder. Can't retrieval run? Yeah, why can't we? We have to over-install this. We install our, like, our black orchestra retrieval run. We're fine. We just click through this. Or not click. You just dump your grip. So they're going to go for the 7-point combo. 
If you have Clot, it helps a bunch. Clot and Sakon, I think, help a lot against this matchup. I don't know if it makes it unwinnable or not, but it makes it a lot harder. I'm not a big fan of CI. That should be kind of obvious. I don't think a lot of people love it, but they're going to go for the combo. I think they have, like, they had 22 credits and Ajeev's already on the table. I think that's, like, the easiest thing. And they have Audacity. Like, they have so many ways to do it. They also can score out. They have probably their one of efficiency committee, which they can score out so they can start, like, doing shipment from Kaguya's with extra clicks. And then Audacity, finally. If they goof this, maybe we win. So let's hope they just mathed it out wrong. But 22 credits seems pretty safe. That means you can play, like, all the biotics. They also have the 5-3 that gives them a click. It's really good, too. Are they struggling? <laughs> Maybe they're messing it up. They have to use a lot of AM. Archive memories? They already used two, so I don't actually know if they have a lot of archive memories. This is their heap, right? So two archive memories are out, but we know what they have on Audacity. I think they have two Shimon from Kaguya's. Uh, Jeeves on the table. I don't know what this is, whether that's a second Jeeves. I'm one click short from a seven point. Whoops. I'll take it. There's no way that they're one click short. There's no way. That's so much credits. Like, can you not can you not score your five three? Or uh what's it called? Or uh efficiency? If you score five through your efficiency, you buy yourself extra clicks. Huh. That's surprising. I guess, that, yeah, they only have two clicks left. If I didn't fuck up that Kaguya, I'll fix it. I don't know. Deck doesn't run electives. Oh, really? What does it run? It runs food, probably. Right? Because it doesn't have any other restricted card. I think it runs food, then. But does it have the influence? So Kaguya has two cards up to one. Oh, no, just any cards. Okay, so they score this, but they can't do anything with this because if they don't have more Kaguyas. So I think they're still boned. Hey, Zach, thanks for dropping by. Yeah, you need those for after you score the efficiency, the Kaguyas. You probably were able to do it. Oh, all good. Okay, they just goofed it up. Yeah, food for punitive. Okay, cool. GG. Yo, hit that concede button. We gotta get his stats up. Oh, they just left. Oh, that's not good. That hits their, their completion, game completion. Um... Dope. Uh, that's 11.50 on my end. Thanks so much for dropping by. Uh, the new pack came out today down, what's it called, the West Nile? No, White Nile. West Nile, Jesus Christ. Um, it looks really good. Oh, I meant to concede. It's all good, Coco. Um, we have some really cool stuff in this one. What is the refresh button? I think I found it. Um, it's a really cool cool pack. Once it wasn't Director Haas out there. Yeah, Director Haas out there would have helped, huh? Uh, this pack's really cool. So I've been really busy for the last while, if you notice the YouTube thing. But we're going to come back with the pack unboxings and talk about the cards. Because these cards are way too cool not to talk about. This is like some of the coolest Nightrunner we've had in a long time, which is pretty dope. Uh, for all those who dropped by, thanks so much. For all those that played games against, thank you so much for that. Uh, what do we have plugs today? Yeah, thanks for the Persephone deck, Julien and Remy. Uh, it went pretty well, didn't it? It was really fun as much as we didn't see the Egret. But you see what it does, right, on the Enforcer. Uh, shout out still going out to Slay the Spire. Again, if you are, yeah, check this out. It's made by well, Never Under Players. It's so fucking good. It's so good. Uh, try that out at some point. Also, uh, if you're newer to the game, even if you're not newer to the game, check this out. There was an article on Stimhack that uh, came out uh, two days ago or so talking about uh, how to analyze ice. It's really good. It's really well written. It gives you some really cool technical breakdown of the game. Um, that helps you understand things in a different way. I think it's, it's a really great article. 
Persephone deck was made by uh, Julien in uh, from my Montreal meta, and Remy's been playing it a bunch. Uh, anyways, you want to check this article out. It's really, really good. It's by Simon Moon, whose deck is the deck list of the week that we played. Do you have a list they'd want to share? If you want to screen capture that, it's right here. I don't know whether they want to share it, but we played it on channel, so you could just like freeze the stream. So it's basically public, huh? Um, that's all. Thanks so much for dropping by. Enjoy your weeks. If you have store championships this weekend, there's a store championship, by the way, in Gatineau, which is basically Ottawa. If you're in Ontario or Quebec, you might be able to drive down to it. It's run. The Ottawa crew is fantastic. I won't be able to make it, but, uh, that be that. I think there's two more store championships coming up in Montreal. Uh, if you're in the area, one's coming in a Sunday and another one in the next couple months in the next couple weeks and another's in March. If you are in the area, that would be cool. Also, Canadian Nationals is in March as well. You want to sign up for that. There's a limited amount of slots. That's all. That got, like, the news real quick, huh? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Uh, oh, have a good evening. Ciao.